Welcome everybody. Hello. Hello. We're back with some more Espresso Tycoon. We are. Of course, I get a phone call as soon as I hit uh, live. Hang on a sec. Hello. 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 What's going on? Hello. You're live. What's going on? Okay. You alright? <laughs> you good? Okay. All right. So, everything's good. Whew. I just want to make sure everything was fine. My lord. Goodness gracious. Well, welcome, everybody, to Espresso Tycoon. Today's release day, if you did not know. Yeah, today's release day for Espresso Tycoon. And um, it is currently going for... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It is currently going for $19.99 USD. But you can get it for 10% off right now for $17.99 USD for the first... Seven days, I believe. So, uh, yeah, that is where we're at right now with Espresso Tycoon. We're going to be continuing the campaign today and doing all that good stuff. So that's going to be fun. Let me go ahead real quick and just uh, send out a uh, tweet real quick. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't usually do this, but now look at me. I have to do what I got to do. Let me do this real quick and we'll uh, we'll start it up. We'll get going. I know. Very, very, very. We'll start it up. We'll oh, get going. There's my forehead saying. Uh, yeah, there we are. There we are. There we are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can even see my forehead on the uh, Steam uh, Espresso Tycoon store page if you want to see that freaking guy. But yeah, it's a big, big shout out to the devs, by the way, for putting me on the Steam store. I do appreciate that as well. Okay. All right. So that tweet has been sent out. Make sure, you know, while we're settling in, hit the like button, all that good stuff. If you're picking up Espresso Tycoon, let me know as well. Did you pick it up? Picking it up now? Are you picking it up today? Are you picking it up this weekend? What are you doing? Right? Let me let me know. I am very curious to know. Anyways, I think we're ready to go. I done did my things. I done did my duty. And I think we're ready to start playing some Espresso Tycoon. By the way, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a wonderful... Wednesday? <laughs> Wednesday? I think that's what today is. Today, Wednesday. Hey, oh, he doesn't have the game going. Hang on a sec. There it comes. Wait for it. And by the way, happy... Happy birthday, Susie! Yes, happy birthday, Susie. Absolutely happy birthday, Susie. Big shout out to you, our moderator here in the YouTubes and Discord. Happy, happy birthday. Hopefully you had a wonderful day indeed. How's it going, Peter? How's it going, Kugel Blitz? Good to see you. Welcome in. Hello, Pepper Do. How you doing? Hey, Avalon. Good to see you. MV. How you doing, MV? What's going on? Hey, John. How you doing, John? Yellow. Good to see you. Jonathan. What's going on? Grumpire, how you doing? Game Station, yeah, game and all the good stuff. Soul Empress, Zoe, what's going on, Zoe? How you doing? Very good, very good, awesome. How you doing? Happy birthday, yeah, happy birthday, Susie, indeed, absolutely. Uh, how you doing, Yoram? How you doing, Yoram? Velvet Sky, how you doing, Velvet Sky? Jean Pierre, how you doing, Jean Pierre? How's it going, Margaret? How you doing, Margaret? Velvet Glove. What's going on? Did I say hello to Velvet? No, I, there's two Velvets. I gotta get used to the two Velvets. There's a Velvet Sky and there's a Velvet Glove. Good to see both of the Velvets in, though. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be continuing on with our continuation of this campaign. Now, I think we are technically, like, halfway through the campaign as is. So, I think there's ten missions. We are on mission five right now. And to unlock different, um, all the different cities, you have to play through the campaign if you want to play these cities in a uh, sandbox mode. So that's one thing you have to like keep in keep in mind too when you're playing this game or thinking about picking up this game. There was some update today. I, I didn't look over the uh, update patch notes or anything like that because it is like day one and all that. So there could have been things changed, fixed since the last time we played, um, at least here on the channel. So yeah. Hey, Serendipity, how you doing? Hey, Jeanette, how you doing? How's it going? Look our campaign. Oh yeah, that's right. Baby, it's cold outside. We were going to be opening up a coffee shop in Siberia, but like in a train, which actually sounds pretty cool if you ask me. Yeah. So this that's today's mission goal. So I'm not going to read this because I believe the game will actually read it for us. But our mission goals is to have at least a day of profit of at least $300. Holy crap. And travel 2,500 kilometers. After Perfect. opening a successful cafe in Paris, get ready for a wild ride on a running trans-Siberian train where your mission is to create a buzz serving up delicious coffee to passengers crossing through Siberia. Can you keep up and keep your customers happy on this crazy journey? All aboard, let's hope the coffee keeps flowing. All aboard! Hit me.
This is kind of cool though. I do like this. Th this idea, like, okay, again, another coffee game. Coffee game, you think of any other coffee tycoon game. There is other ones out there, but you never get to actually be in would a train. Would you ever think life would bring you to running a coffee shop on a trans-Siberian train? No, I Kim. Mean, certainly not. But yet here we are. The circumstances are unusual, but as usual, we have to start by creating a brand. Very well. Yes, we got to go back to the whole uh, brand thing. And we're on a train, so it has to be trainified, no? Hey, Shorty, how you doing? Hey, Ca Cassie Claire, how's it going? Good to see you. Welcome in. So, yeah, got to get the, you know. Do, is there, didn't we, like, hang on a sec. When are we going to put, like, a, uh, give me, like, a train, dude. Get a plane. There's a freaking rocket. I mean, we could be a rocket as a train. I forgot what we did. I'm not doing, well, you do a bank bag. You could, like, rob a train. Is that like too much Red Dead? Um, oh yeah, that's right. We did this to the Bowler Express. That's what it kind of reminds me. It kind of reminds me we're gonna be serving some hot chocolate here, maybe possibly. I don't know what everybody's opening the door behind them. Oh god. Um, I don't even know what you would even add to this. Like, I cans has a train. That's the name of our brand? I think, maybe? Oh, that's right, we went with Purple Train, too. Yeah, that actually fits. I like that, let's do that. Cans has a train? You love the Polar Express movie? I know, the Polar Express movie's pretty good. The, 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 the kid, the, the kid, you know who I'm talking about, the kid? The kid, the, the one with the glasses? He drives me nuts. Kansas Express, okay, that's perfect. Wait. Yeah, let's spell it this way. <laughs> Kansas. Kind of like Kansas, but not Kansas. <laughs> Different kind of Kansas. I like that. Uh, but you know the kid with the glasses? I forgot his name in the movie, but goodness gracious. That that know-it-all, right? That know-it-all. I the reason why I chose this triangle with the with the with the star and like the pathway is because it reminds me of like them traveling to the to the you know, what is it? They travel to the North Star, right? Oh my god, that's too flashy. Yeah, you know, something like that? They're going to the North North Star, North Pole, they follow the North Star. You know what I'm talking about. You, I don't need to explain to you what Christmas is all about. That's done. Awesome! Ah. It's very cold outside, so I'm pretty sure a lot of your customers will want something hot to drink. Let's create some recipes that will warm their bodies and hearts. Warm their bodies and hearts. Very good. All right. So we have a thousand dollars, which is actually a lot less than what we usually start with. Um, but sure, okay. So let's pause the game real quick and let's see. So create and save your own coffee with a minimum temperature of ninety-five degrees. Then we need to add create a coffee to the menu. So we got to make a little bit of a co now. I don't know who, what kind of guest social classes are going to be jumping in here, but uh, we're going to have somebody. That's three hundred milliliters. I think we'll go with like a simple, just a cup of coffee, right? Not a hundred, maybe a hundred. Coffee, no. Let's just do a simple 300. Yeah, simple 300. Um, name of the coffee, I'm not sure yet. I gotta make it first before I do some of that. But we need at least a coffee that's gonna be hot. So we want, look, there's the hot chocolate right there, you son of a gun. Uh, espresso, yeah. And we have to have it a minimum of 95 degrees. Right now it's sitting at 90 degrees. The more we add, the temperature doesn't increase. Okay, very well. But we can see where this takes us. So tourists really like a tiny bit of espresso. I, you would have to assume this is a tourist, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, you would have to assume this is a, 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 a tourist. Uh, train? Full? I don't know. Hot water. Does that increase the temperature? It does increase the temperature to 98 uh, degrees. Okay. Um, right. Let's see if we increase this baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I kind of want to make this coffee more or less for the, uh, maybe more for the, uh, ooh. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That brings up businessmen, hipsters, and seniors. Tourists really love it. They want a waffle roll with it. You and your freaking sweets. You and your freaking sweets. Okay, this is gonna. I'm gonna make this a, a, a tourist drink for, you know, for what it's worth. Hot milk, though. That would increase the preparation time. I don't think we need hot milk. 
espresso, hot water, and maybe something else added to it, right? Maybe like that needs to be research. Oh, they might actually teach us how to research now. Very well. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, look at nougat, ice cream, honey. Yeah, they're gonna teach us how to do a, a little bit of uh, nice, a little bit of uh, research here. This even has light mayonnaise. What is the deal with the mayonnaise? Is mayonnaise in coffee like something I do not know about? What is the deal with this stuff, dude? I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. Maybe it's very basic, but it's very towards the uh, it's it's towards the tourists and eh, a little bit of the businessmen and the hipsters and seniors. This is the basic. Basic cup of coffee. Yeah. That's basically just hot water. I agree. <laughs> 10 milliliters of espresso. Just hot water. I'll show you. I know my forehead's kind of in the way. I should probably actually, you know what? I should probably move this son of a gun over here. There we go. Perfect. Now you can see what's going on there. Yeah. <sighs> Basic cup of coffee. I'm, I'm doing it. Save it. It might not be the best, but it works. And that's what matters. Hooray. Great job. Did you happen Thank to you. notice that some of the ingredients were not available yet? Fortunately, I did. you can conduct some research to expand your repertoire of coffee ingredients and decoration items. Give it a try now. There we go. Okay, so now we get to actually look into the research, which is really good because uh, we were kind of missing out on the research, right? Yeah. Hey, Alex, how you doing? What's going on? By the way, Floatery B with the three months. Thank you, Floatery B. That was very, very kind of you. Big ups to you. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Payne. How you doing, Payne? Good to see you. Are we putting mayo in coffee today? I hope to God not. Okay, so research. Open the research. And then... Oh. Set the research priority. And then set the research budget. Okay. Right. So, I guess priority. Seats, tables, walls, floors, plants, snacks, lamps, special cabinets, paintings, others. Has nothing to do with coffee. Is uh, others coffee? <laughs> it doesn't say anything in particular. Um, cough up, uh, f seats. Set the research budget. Excellent. Just be careful with the research budget. Speaking of the budget, in this mission, one of your goals is to make a specific daily profit. Okay. It would be hard to track your income and expenses. Fortunately, our friendly accountant keeps track of it in a convenient table. Of course. Check it out now. Of course. Yeah. By the way, Pepper do with the 11 months. Holy crap. And you're one away from a whole year. Pepper do. That's very kind to of you. Shout out to you. Thank you for the continue uh continue support. That was very kind. Of you. Very very big ups to you. Open the finance window. Great. Once you have finished setting up your cafe, you should focus on optimizing your finances. Right. In order to do that, you may consider improving your coffee recipes. From now on, your customers will be following temporal trends. If you meet all of their preferences, along with the current trend for a given social group, you will receive a tip for each coffee sold. So oh. The perfect coffee. <clears throat> so we have to like actually like worry about a trend. Is that right? So create and save your own coffee. We'll get a tip by any social group. Add a created coffee to the menu. We'll get a tip by any social group. We have to worry about trends and stuff. We do actually have baristas already on board. So we will create, I guess, another coffee and try to, like, see what we got going on here as far as, like, I don't know. Friends? Or at least maybe just go towards them in the fact, you know, once at least a day. It does it. It's almost noon here. Thank you, Charter. I gotta, like, maybe switch my stream up or something. Hey Jocelyn, how you doing? Street switch up the uh, switch up the time frames or something. I don't know. Afro, how you doing? Afro says it's awesome to catch you live. I do it every other month. Well, good to see you. How you doing? Hey Donna, how you doing? Donna, hey Queen, how you doing? Queen, good to see you. Yes, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I guess one thing that's not allowed on this train is kids and techies. Right, so uh, we already have kind of tourists taken with the basic hot coffee. I think I'm gonna go businessmen. 
Because they seem pretty easy. So, what do businessmen need again? In this mission, the businessmen have the following preferences. Number of unique toppings. Fewer than, I guess, four, right? <clears throat> or few. Is it? Less than four, yeah? And then, um... Topping the waffle roll. They want the waffle roll, which I don't think we can even get the waffle roll right now. No. We can't get the waffle roll, so... That's, uh, that's a negative. Maybe we go somewhere else with this. Honey-based. Which... We could do, if we researched honey, that is considered extra, I guess. Seniors, topping category liked extras, again, that would be with honey. Ingredients like hot chocolate, oh my god, I want to go that way. Uh, casuals, they like a temperature, they like ice cream, which we could do. We could put any ice cream in there. They want a small coffee of, what, less than 200? And then they want calories being medium with unique layers as well. Temporal trend. You can see the temporal trend. For the casuals, it's hot soy milk. For the students, it's high calories. Seniors, it's a number of unique toppings. Hipsters, it's size medium. Businessmen, it's number of unique few layers. Interesting. High calories for the students as well. And tourists, they want peanut ice cream. Well then, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out here. I'm going to go back to the basic cup of cans, and I'm going to add peanut ice cream to this basic cup of coffee. And that will at least bring that in. Now, they need a waffle roll, and I'm assuming these extras, we got to kind of just research a little bit, right? Is that the cup capacity? Yeah, we've done hit the cup capacity. We can tone down the hot, co hot water a bit. That will be more ice cream, less ice cream. Less ice cream is better. Okay. This will be a basic cup of peanut. Basic cup of peanut. Plural. Save. Okay, that's the new thing. We obviously have to order, like, the peanut uh, uh, ice cream and all that. But, yeah, so I think I might actually change my research now. I'm not researching seats anymore. I want to research, I guess, others. Coffee editor. Oh, there we go. Coffee. Okay, good. Never mind. Decoration, coffee editor. Good. So, okay, this is what I want. I want extras. I want you to do that, and I want this to have a, I don't know, $50 a day research. I don't know how fast this will go, but we'll do that. Decoration. Tone that off for now. We don't need decorations at the moment. This is fine. Hey, Daisy. How you doing? Hey, Zoe. Did I say hello to Zoe? Good to see you, Zoe. Um, Yeah. Hey, Ambers, how you doing, Ambers? Hey, Maya, how you doing, Maya? Hey, Nami, how you doing, Nami? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll at least get the extras in. That will be the, um, the, the honey and all that, right? So we'll leave that as is. We will then order... Um, good quality coffee or bad quality coffee... It depends on where our people at. We do, it looks like... It does look like we have already... An employee or two? Okay, we do have employee. We have a poor coffee maker, very poor milk, poor art, and fine speed. That's Pedro. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to need somebody else. This is a six-hour day, so we're going to need to hire somebody else. Janice, Scott, Noah, Phoebe. Hmm. 12-hour days? Oh, I like this one. Scott Williams. Poor coffee making skills, but fine at the milk, fine at the art, and very poor at the speed. Okay, maybe I don't like that. Noah, 12 hour day, who is an introversion. What's Scott? Pessimism? Afternoon? Nights? What is our person at right now? Are they a night person? They're an afternoon person. Okay, we can work around that. Do we have any cleaners? I don't think we have any cleaners. I don't know if we need any cleaners. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Noah. The most expensive person, I think, right? Milk, fine. Speed, fine, which is what I want. And then we'll kind of, like, upgrade the coffee as we go. Our, coffee's, our coffee skill is going to be terrible, okay? It is. It's going to be terrible. Absolutely. Cali has some weird weather going on. It rained all night and I'm cold. It's just June. What's going on? Dude, I know. Dude, <laughs> we had, like, a terrible storm that just, like, came through and up everything and we lost power and it was insane there was trees flipped upside down it only happened for like 
a day. It was crazy. A day and a half, maybe. Okay, Noah was going to be part of our, our squad here. Now, he prefers... What does he prefer again? He prefers nights. So, we'll have him go from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. And then we need maybe a six-hour... 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. person to at least have that. So who's a six hour? Well, we have eight hours. <coughs> I guess having more people um, at the... Uh, yeah, you can, having more is fine. Frank Hill prefers nights. Character trait sensitivity. Hmm, okay. Any mornings? Charisma? Frank Hill. I'm going to hire you too as well. I'm hoping that this... Uh, this... This... Uh, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh, I like that. Perfect. I'm assuming this uh, this coffee or this coffee this train will be uh, will be kicking because if, it, if it's not kicking, then uh, I guess I'm gonna be kicking myself here in a sec. Okay, so now we need to worry about. Uh, let's actually hit play real quick. I could do this a little bit quicker. Uh, menu. We need the peanut ice cream. The americano. I guess we can just add to the menu just to have. The flat white, we can just add and actually take out the flat white, replace it with the cappuccino, and then we'll make our last uh, little thing here by tip. We'll get any tip. So we got to worry about um, the trends here for this next coffee. Now, we might not be able to do it right away because I don't know if we have everything. Uh, let's see. Let's go to 200 milliliters. Was it 100? Well, let's actually go to 400. We'll go to 400 here. And we'll see. So, can we do this trend? Number of unique layers fewer than five? I think we can do that, right? But they want the waffle roll too. Um, medium, temporal trend, medium. 200, between 200 and 249, they want honey. Number of unique toppings, they want a lot. Now, we could actually get away with this senior one. So, let's do hot chocolate. Yep, we'll do hot chocolate. They don't want any latte. They want a very high caffeinated hot chocolate. What the heck? What happens if I crank that all the way up? They want a very high caffeinated hot chocolate. Interesting. So then hit me with an espresso in there, yeah? I guess what is a, a, a coffee and hot chocolate together? What is that called? That's called... Uh, it's called something, right? Mocha? What is, what's hot chocolate and coffee put together? You need a cup of coffee with French vanilla creamer, please, sir? That sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> hey, Harry, how you doing? Harry, hi, Mama Bear. What's going on? How you doing? <laughs> a chai latte? Is that what a chai latte is? Hot chocolate and a... Uh... No. What's hot chocolate and a... Uh... Hot chocolate and coffee. No? Hot chocolate with a very, very high caffeine. 350 milligrams of caffeine. Can I double down on my espresso? There you go. Look at that. Holy hell. They got double down. They love it. They love it. Okay. Toppings extra light. Look, I'm not putting any extras, I don't think, in there. I don't have any extras. I don't have any honey. Oh, mocha. Is that what it is? A choco mocha. Mocha. Okay, so that's, that's, what, a, that's what mocha. Okay, that, okay. I, I thought it was a mocha. So this is good for seniors. The temporal trend, they want many unique, uh, was it, many unique toppings. Um, you think I can get away with the chocolate syrup on that? Or maybe a, uh, uh, would, uh, butter. <laughs> I don't know why we put butter in coffee or mayonnaise. I don't know who's doing that, dude. Who's ever putting butter or mayonnaise in their coffee? I need to talk to you because I need to know. I need to learn. What the heck is this all about? Maybe chocolate syrup? No, 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 no. Too much, too much, too much. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. If you drink, if your drink satisfies all preferences and additionally follows the temporal trend, you will get tipped for each cup sold. So I think all we need to do is we need to wait until we get these extras uh, researched. So in the meantime, we can at least name this the Mocha 
the adult polar express hot chocolate. Damn it. Hot mocha. There we go. That's it. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be for seniors. We'll come back to this coffee when we have uh, extras researched. But that's what we'll do. Uh, let's put the adult. Yep. Polar Express in. Perfect. And then that's what we're going to do for now. And then we'll let the game kind of progress here. And uh, this is awesome, though. I love the fact that we do have. Wow. How much area do we have? We have this area, this area, this area. A little bit of that area. Okay. Um, open. Actually, don't open. Supplies first. Bring it in. Then open. You can actually have different tiers of hot chocolate. Wow. Um, high quality hot chocolate. Easy to go espresso. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the cheap stuff first. Kind of like wait for our research to, to do its thing, right? Uh, hot, hot chocolate. <laughs> right? Didn't they say that? Hot, da, 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 da. hot chocolate. Something rather. I don't know. Um, I'll do the one star quality. It's still a cheaper one. I'll bring in five. And then water filtrations. Yes, uh, we'll have those come in. Everything's going to be cheap for the beginning. Ingredients. I don't think we have any uh, soy. Do we have any chocolate syrup? No, we don't have any chocolate syrup. Do we have any peanut ice cream? Yes, we do. Captain peanut ice cream. Yes, actually, sir. We'll do three of those. Strawberry ice cream, mayonnaise. Good God, no. Uh, butter. Nope, nope, nope. Hot. Wait a sec. Hot chocolate. Okay, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, toppings. It says we can order them, but we can't add it to the... I don't... Wait. No, we don't have any of this stuff. No, we can't do any of this stuff. So just ignore all that. We can't do that yet. Uh, yeah, simple cups. We'll add more to the simple cups. Yeah? There we go. All right. Now the question is, do I add more seating? $784. Probably add a little bit more seating. Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, did you guys also see on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, what is it? Uh, frick. Did you guys see Bella in the game? I don't know if she's in this campaign mission, but yeah, Bella's in the game. It was so cool to see. So, so happy. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Table? Is that the same table? What table is that? Vintage. Style points. I guess you have to research all this other stuff, too. So it looks like we're going to be getting away just with one. Oh, there's a two style point liked by businessmen, by seniors, by hipsters. Right now, we're kind of targeting those people. Uh, we are targeting a little bit of. Um, a little bit of like tourists, too, at the same time. So we'll add at least one more table. That will be fine. I'm assuming this is just a cheap chair, right? No style points on that. I don't know if I like that very much. I do like this, though. I do like... Holy hell. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, no. Looks terrible, dude. Doesn't it? Oh, look, at there's the colors. Purple. Hey, wow, what the heck? <laughs> Red. Oh, yay, yay. Yellow. Ay. Looks god-awful. That... There's, like, no texture to that. What the heck? Just leave it as is. There we go. Okay. We'll hold on to the rest of the money. $444 and see where this goes. Uh, I mean, I could put like a painting or a planting, planting, plant down or something, maybe. Potted flowers. Pink flowers. We could do something like that, too. Let's add a little bit of decoration added to this. Oh, we also need to probably upgrade our coffee maker. Well, we don't have anything... We don't have anything that needs a, a frother right now, so I, don't, I guess we don't need to technically upgrade that right now. If we wanted to, we could get, I guess, better speed. $999. The only thing we would upgrade this for right now is better speed and another barista spot. You know, actually, let's do it. Because we do have some baristas overlapping in our schedule. Let's do it. All right, that's good. All right, no more buying. We are at $84. Time to open up our shop. Stop. Drop, shut them down, open up shop. Whoa, no fireworks are allowed in the train, just confetti. All right, let's go. 
Okay, fireworks are allowed in the train. I have toppings? Do I do have toppings? Let me see. Do I have toppings? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Time out. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take me to the adult Polar Express. I have whipped cream and I have a waffle roll. Jesus Christ. Hey! All right. Well, this works out. Um, well, in this case, give me the waffle roll. There you go. Seniors love it. Um, but it does still not follow a trend, which it says number of unique toppings. They want many of unique toppings. I have whipped cream, maybe. Um, blueberries. This is a ridiculous drink. Oh my god. Oh my. Damn. This is actually changed now. This is the AARP of mochas. All right, great. Awesome. Wait, hey, hey. Increase your revenue. Just remember, the temporal trend is just that. Temporal, so it changes quite often. By the way, why isn't this train running? I overheard the train driver saying they ran out of coal, so I immediately ordered... Hey, Aaron, how you doing? Coal. Please collect it when it arrives. Hey, down and dirty, what's going on? Did you see macaroons? You did. <laughs> collect the package of... I don't want to do that. I don't want any coal. Okay, so wait a sec. Before I do any of that, I need to actually get some supplies, though. We gotta get the toppings in now. Not even crunchy or crash or crunch. I will say, having all the different like qualities of things can kind of get overwhelming at times. Let's do just a simple again. Uh, four, I guess, four units of that. Uh, whipped cream, whoop, ah, whoop, there it is. Wonderful, blueberries, blackberry, very well. Uh, chocolate macaroon, no, we don't need any macaroons. Where is the, yes, uh, very well. Oh, we don't have enough money for that. Well, this is embarrassing. Yeah, we've we've spent that money, baby. We went all vintage on us. Wait a sec, where's the coal at? Is the coal over here? Where's the package? Show me how. Oh, we have to wait for it to come in, right? The train has stopped because there is no coal left. Ah, so you have to actually like keep the train running. Ah. Interesting. Oh God! Sure Holy crap! It, as they were stuck here for a good while. Oh, dude, this is tripping my eyes out. Again, just order some more coal. I have to go now. Good luck with the mission goals. So, See you. Hopefully, so, in some warmer place. You also have to worry about the fuel for the train in this one. Oh, my God, customers can't buy the ARP. Yeah, of course they can't because we don't have the right ingredients. Oh my Lord, dude, this is tripping my eyes out a bit. Okay, just buy something else so that I can bring in the other little toppings, yeah? <clears throat> My goodness. So we also need to worry about buying coal for the train. That's actually kind of cool, though. I agree. All right, everybody grab what you're going to grab. Oh, my God. Be careful. Careful. Do not come into the back of the counter. We didn't even buy snacks, either. We need to buy some snacks, too. A lot of different things. We need to order a, a lot of few things here. Uh, but we just can't. I mean, maybe we could. Yeah, the one, I guess. Let's get that in. We need $4 to bring in this other choco or kaiko, cacao. I'm not a bird. Okay, there we go. We got some espresso in. Perfect. We probably shouldn't have opened right away. Should probably have waited, maybe, until this stuff, have came, this stuff came in. Don't worry. We'll get it. It's a rough start, but we'll get there. Hey, Cece, how you doing? It's a rough start, but we'll get there. We gotta wait for the other toppings to come in. We gotta get the uh we gotta get the money rolling. No problem. <laughs> there we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey Alexander, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. Coffee for retired people? That's right. That's the coffee that hot chocolate is straight for the seniors, man. Straight for the seniors. It's kind of making you a bit car sick. I feel you on that. I do, I do, I do. I definitely feel you on that. 
tripping me out, man. There you go. Basic cup of peanuts to go. <laughs> oh my god. Once we get the AARP up, we'll be golden, pony boy. Actually, you know what? Now thinking about it, we could actually even uh, do a little bit more transcending, maybe, possibly, for the future, too. Let's look at the uh, basic cup of peanuts, yeah? And we were actually putting this towards tourists, which we could now, I guess, have another unique layer, many unique layer, and the waffle on it. So if we wanted to go, we can go uh, back to over here, add the waffle to it, and then just have light uh, topping category, sweets. Okay, is that just whipped cream? Is that sweets? What is that? Sweets. Maybe it's a specific kind of topping? Or unless you're talking about... Oh, sweets. Oh, I'm talking about the macaroons. Okay, very well. Uh, no no whipped cream. Instead, hit me with the chocolate macaroon. But this is going to cost additionally because we're going to have to uh, bring in a whole nother set of other ingredients and all that. Really should go like one at a time here, but... You know, I'm kind of pushing the limit here as we go. Now, as far as the, what is it? The many unique layers, I guess we'll have to continue with a, a unique layer here. We could probably get away with hot milk. Yeah, hot milk. They like it very hot. And then one more layer of maybe, of maybe milk foam. It's reach its capacity. Greater two or equal to five. How many layers is that? Bring it down a bit. Milk foam. They want it very hot. Okay. Crank up the hot water. Maybe bring down the ice cream a bit. There we go. So now the tourists are all set in stone. We have all that working. So this is still the basic cup of peanuts. Um, no, it's not that anymore. It's the, uh, tourist. What are you doing here? Frick, what are you doing with her? Um, tourist on my brain. That's, that's all I got for you. We'll add that to the uh, menu, but we're going to have to get a chocolate macaroon, too. So we need chocolate macaroon, and we need the other berry, I think, too. But we need a little bit of money to do that. So we're still kind of going that way. Now, there, I think there is a way, if you go into finances here. <clears throat> I got the golden bean. Never mind. We got the golden bean, so let's go ahead and add what we need. So we need the, the macaroon, maybe? Maybe uh, two units of that. And then let's get the uh, this, right? Oh, no, that's coming already. Okay, so good, good, good. I think that was the only thing that we needed, right? I guess the macaroon? Maybe? We'll see. It, it just needs to catch up with itself. That's basically all it is. Yeah. Has the stream started? Am I latte? You are full latte. Yeah, you're full latte. Hey, Maggie Mae, how you doing? Happy birthday, Susie. Absolutely happy birthday, Susie. The tourist trap? Okay, you know what? I kind of like that better. Perfect. <laughs> tourist trap. I like that better. Yeah. Okay, now this should be fine. We just need to wait a little bit. Um... We gotta make a daily profit of three hundred dollars, which we haven't even done yet. Our golden beans are gonna really be the thing that's gonna take us to the whole next level. And once we get these trendsetters here, uh, that will also take us to the whole next level. These things are coming in eventually. We just gotta wait for them. This is the Kansas Express, by the way. Uh, not to be confused with the Wizard of Oz, which is a terrible movie, by the way. I mean, I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat from that. I, I don't mean it as in a terrible movie, like terrible movie like you know it's storytelling terrible movie i'm saying like how the movie was made terrible movie uh how they treated the actors and actresses terrible movie the allegations terrible movie just all around bad just 1937 what the hell were you doing then i guess i don't know 
Uh, train has stopped because there's no coal. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get some coal. How do we get the coal now? Can we just purchase this from the supplies, right? Um, hang on a sec. Time out. She, she showed us, I don't know if she showed us how to like get the coal. Disposable maybe. Yeah, coal. Okay, disposable. You rock, coal. All right. $32? Oh my god. Coal's expensive. Just put me on the naughty list and spank me already. Jesus. What the heck? Hey, Lord. All right. Very well. Click on the customer and employees to analyze the reviews. We should be getting our tourist trap stuff here very soon. Where are we at? Three units. That's different toppings here. We got a, a minute 30 waiting on that. A minute 30. Is that all we need? Two units of that. I don't think there's anything else that we need. Yeah, I think that's just... I think it's just the waffles, right? Chocolate macaroon. Very well. Yeah, just the chocolate macaroon, I guess. Students have nothing to order. Well, the students need to get off my train. They need to be studying. That's what they need to be doing. Get out of here. You've never had macaroons. They look good. I, you know, I've had a macaroon or two. You know, just not my, not my favorite, I will say. I forgot to clean my place here. Not my favorite dessert little item. It looks awesome. It looks fun. They're just not my, you know what? I have tried a macaroon. There, I, I, there's one macaroon I like, but most of them I don't. So there we go. Now we can actually get the tourist trap coming in. And I guess we got to figure out a coffee for the students. Nicole will come in eventually. We could buy more tables and stuff like that. But I guess maybe just worrying about the students is what we need to do right now. <clears throat> Let's see here. What direction to go with the students? I'm really not sure. Um, let's see here. What do they want? They want high calories. They want peanut ice cream and they want special ingredients. They want frozen? Right. Wait a sec. They want frozen? All right. So you... Okay, so let's see. Maybe ice cubes with cold milk and a cold brew? Is that where we're going here? You want high caffeine? That's what the cold brew is there for. <laughs> Maybe I need to put a little bit of espresso in there. Maybe less milk, less ice cubes. No. Let me pause. Let me pause the background real quick. High calories. They want peanut ice cream. So we'll give them some peanut ice cream. There's your freaking peanut. They want a special ingredient. What the hell's the special ingredient one? They want this. They want the mayonnaise or the butter. Oh yeah, yeah. At least we got honey done. All right. Um, right. I'm gonna give you butter because I just can't stand to give you mayonnaise. Jesus. And then they just want high caffeine, baby. They want more caffeine, more caffeine, more caffeine. Mom, I want more caffeine, mom, mom. Maybe I could throw in an espresso. How we doing? Where's the espresso? Crank that bad boy up. That's not frozen if we have the espresso in. Very well. Um, right. Um. How do we make this more caffeinated then? In a cold sense. Maybe double the cold brew. 250 milligrams and then 349 milligrams. Where do we sit sit right now? We sit at ingredients, cost, calories, caffeine. Oh shit, we sp <laughs> Um, I think we've gone over 649. Uh, right. No, don't double down on the cold brews. Bring it down, cowboy. Bring it down. There we go. This is student. Get to class. So the only thing we need to buy, I think, is butter. And then we'll take out the uh, Americano 
for the students. Yeah. Oh, wait, we can add more here. Oh, shoot. We'll just throw it all, all on there then. There we go. We'll throw it all on there. So then we'll have uh, butter. We need to get butter. Very well. And we might switch our research now and change that budget too. Does this say uh, ingredient? It's an ingredient, right? Butter. I can't believe there's butter in this damn coffee. What the hell is going on on this train? This is a madhouse. Give me three. That's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. It will come. So we have students done. We have businessmen done. We have seniors done. So we're setting the trends, right? They're setting the trends. Absolutely. Yeah. The students want that frappe, baby. I do too. I really do. I really, really do. Tourist trap to go, please. <laughs> so funny to see. Uh, shakes on a train. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one too. Shakes on a train. Is pretty good. <laughs> Where in the world do they put butter or mayonnaise into coffee? That's what I'm saying. Who does it? Nobody's doing it at Starbucks. Nobody's doing it at Starbucks. They want high fat and high caffeine, of course, is what the students want. Just because their metabolism is incredible. Hey, Lizzie. How you doing, Lizzie? High metabolism. That's nasty, dude. There's like a big... um. Students have nothing. No, they'll, they'll have something. They'll have something to order. Yeah, they'll have something to order. Don't worry about them. We need our coal to continue to come through. So let's fast forward time here a bit. There's like a whole, there's a whole ordeal when it comes to mayonnaise and sour cream. I think those are two major points where there's like half the population that does not like mayonnaise. And then there's half the population that does not like sour cream. You know what I mean? And then there's people that don't like either or. Your coffee shop, Cans Express, got an award. Cleanest coffee shop in town. Yeah, probably because there's nobody inside of it. So, I mean, yeah, of course I got the cleanest coffee shop here. Which I do want to get, you know, once we get this whole menu s sorted out, I want to add um, more tables and all that. But I got to get this menu and ingredients all sorted out first. I mean, to be fair, it is kind of crazy that a drone has to come out to Siberia and, like, drop ingredients off on a freaking train here. I do have to say. We good? There we go. There's our drone. Hey, there's the coal. Holy hell. Two, two. We're still waiting for the students one. I think it's the butter, right? We're still waiting for the butter to come in. Butter my biscuit, baby. Yeah, yeah, we're still waiting for the butter to come in. Hipsters have nothing to order. Don't get me started. We need to order milk. More milk, please. More milk. Bring it in. More milk. All right, the hipsters now have uh, a little bit of a situation going on. Now, what would I do with the hipsters? Let's see. The hipsters want a medium drink of 200 milliliters to 249 milliliters. We can do that. Um, <clears throat> they want unique toppings. They want few toppings. Hang on a second. Let me press, like, pause real quick. They want honey, which we have. Their topping category liked is base, I, I guess. They want high calories. Okay, so cup selection. Thank you. Um, did they want, uh, what do the hipsters want? Did they want, uh, they want low caffeine? What the hell do you want? Like hot water or something? I guess espresso. Very low. I don't think that's low enough. Caffeine at 21 milligrams. Oh, no, that's good. Increase it to 50. Okay, they want honey. Give them some honey. What else do they want? Hopping category like base. They want high calories. With a temporal trend of a medium sized cup to go. Okay. What the hell do they want? Something base? Oh, they want whipped cream on that ass. Perfect. So do I. So now they just want high calories. Okay. So where's your calories at? 393. We're just a little bit too much on the calories. Maybe bring down the honey. Bring down the honey. There we go. There we go. Where we're at. Calories 349. Where are we at? 353. There we go. Okay, now what do they want? 
They want a medium size. So they want uh, 249 at the max. What is, what's our size? Our capacity is at 40 milligram, milliliters. Oh, dude, they just want hot water up in here then. There you go. There's your capacity size. More hot water, I guess. Habeo. Perfect. That's a disgusting drink. Hey, Summer Sunshine, how you doing? Your dad uses butter powder in his coffee? What? Hipster? Hipsters? Kiss my hipster. All right, so we'll add that to the menu. And that will come with uh, honey. So now we got to order honey. Very well. Where's our honey, baby? Is that an ingredient or is that a topping? No, that's a base, right? That's a base. That's not a base. That's an ingredient. There we go. Honey. There's so many stuff. There's so many things that we have to supply over and over and over and over. This is going to be hard to keep up with, I tell you. It is. It's going to be hard to keep up with. <clears throat> I like my coffee with honey. Yeah, honey and tea, honey and coffee. There's nothing wrong with that. It's when you start putting mayonnaise and butter in, maybe, is, you know, that could be a problem. Especially mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, I don't understand that. Is it pulling out the flavors? I doubt it. I can't imagine it. How we doing over here? Oh, yeah, you know, I put mayonnaise in my coffee because it pulls the flavors out. No, it just makes it extra thick, baby. Or fat. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. Hey, McSqueeze, how you doing? How's it going today on our express, express, espresso train? That's a hard one to say. <laughs> this isn't a subway. This is a, this is a train. This is a, yeah, I don't need a freaking, I don't need extra mayonnaise on my Italian BMT. No, dude, you need to give me extra mayonnaise on my uh, AARP. I don't know what the hell's going on in this train. This is a this is a this is a show, I tell you. I love mayo on sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs. I have never heard of someone adding mayo to coffee. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wonder if this is like a thing. I think that I wonder if this is like a troll thing. You think? Not a troll thing, but like a a funny quirk thing that the developers added to this game. Like, oh, we're gonna just throw something really crazy and we're gonna put mayonnaise unless somewhere where the developers live they're like no dude we actually put mayonnaise in our coffee whatever you're saying is highly offensive <laughs> they're like no this is normal and what you are you're just ridiculous that could be it <laughs> yeah what if mayo is super delicious in coffee what if it's like discovering plutonium you know there's a lot of things to be said here there's, now there's a lot of peaks of curiosity as well. People are kind of curious. They're like, okay. You know what we haven't done yet? We haven't done any, um, we haven't done any, uh, uh, any latte art. By the way, the casuals now have nothing to order. I don't care about the casuals. I got everything on the menus casual, dude. You know, let's get into here. What kind of stuff could we have? Cherry cupcake? Doesn't sound too good. White chocolate donut sounds okay. Squared toast sounds right. Oreo cupcake, I'm assuming that's what that was. Sounds good. Sprinkle donut sounds good. Red cupcake sounds good. Cupcake simplicity sounds good. Chocolate cake sounds good. Bun pudding sounds good. Small strawberry cake sounds good. Untangled pretzel, hilarious. Chala, still don't know what that is. Matcha green tea cake sounds good. Chocolate chip cupcake also sounds good. okay there's just some there you know kiss my hipster to go please <laughs> kiss my hipster to go please <laughs> hey darren how you doing darren good to see you what's going on okay hey it got dark now Oh, very good. So we got to figure out something for the casuals now, which, by the way, let's go ahead and take a look at our research again. We're, we're putting a lot of money into research, aren't we? Four items a day? Damn. Let's bring it down to one item per day, and let's do... 
Um, special ingredient? Do all of it. Just do it all. I don't care. Just do it all. One a day? That's fine. I think. Maybe. Four items a day? Do it. Fine. Let's do that. All right. Uh, we'll do that. Very good. Kiss my hipster to go, please. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's add maybe some more tables. I feel like we're a little bit comfortable. Oh, the train has no coal. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Now, the coal is expensive. It is really expensive. Now, we don't. I don't think we necessarily need to have it going all the time. Now, the reason why we need the train to go is for our mission goal. Our mission goal is to have the train travel 2,500 kilometers, which we're already, like, just about halfway there. If, for whatever reason, we could just stay put, maybe, right? And not have to worry about it. I don't know if this is affects customers or anything, but we can kind of just expand our shop first and foremost instead of adding more coal to the, to the train because it costs, like, $100 for, like, three units. It's quite expensive for the coal to be added so maybe we kind of worry about uh the coffee shop all all in all together here yeah now if can i click on something and say duplicate oh no we can repair stuff i was gonna say can i click on that and duplicate it but no that doesn't seem to be the case all right let's go ahead and add some hopefully furniture to some degree uh businessmen hipsters and seniors we can have that over here and then maybe we can make another room like go to the left and maybe have like casuals tourists and you know this and that and whatnot Maybe we could do something like that. I think I could like slide that in right there. This might be a very, very... I mean, have you ever been on a train? Me, personally? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I've been on a train. I've never been on a train where you... Um... I've never been on a train where you, uh... Where you're, where you're in this. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I've never been in a train... Where it was enclosed. You know what I mean? Something like that. Does that make sense? Update your coffee recipe to follow new trends. There better not be new trends already. I just started here. Oh, crap, dude. There's new trends? Oh, crap. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, kiss my hipster. Edit. Okay, no, that's so good. Okay, good. Oh, wait, the new trend is no latte art. Oh, crap, they did switch. Crap, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. So now the seniors want a chocolate macaroon. Oh my god. Okay. Right? Alright, there you go. Save it. What do the students want? Students want a flower. Latte art. God damn it. Um. Um, how'd they get latte art if they want it frozen? Maybe more ice cubes? Less foam? Flower? A rose, a flower. Okay, students are good. Tourist trap. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Holy crap, dude. This is intense. Alright, so everybody is back to the trend, I guess. For the most part, if anything. Hey, Brian. How you doing, Brian? Hey, Nick. How you doing, Nick? Uh, we'll get that. There we go. There we go. Take some of that. How we doing on money? $5? Okay. The train has stopped. No coal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that affects the, the, the customers, though. Um... We'll exit that, update your coffee, which we've done. There's a little bit of extra money there. That's nice. I guess it's not like a, I mean, 
it's not a must, right, to have the trends going. It's not a must must. Okay, so we we just need more seating. Yeah, we just need more seating is all, I feel like. And maybe even bring in, like, snacks and things like that. Son of a bit. Okay. We need to take take away research. I think research is kick, kick, kicking us a new one here. Are we almost done? We got the light mayonnaise uh, research. The not ice, or sorry, the nougat ice cream researched. Okay, bring it down a bit. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. There we go. Jesus. All right. Nougat ice cream unlock too. Nougat ice cream. Get that money coming. It's a very claustrophobic train, for sure. What is in there? Oh, that's a bathroom. Oh, <laughs> the bathroom is out of order. <laughs> Ain't that, doesn't that suck? Eliza, how you doing, Eliza? What's happening? You've been playing Everdream Valley on the PS5. It's so addicting. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. Have a good night, Peter. Do take care. Mm -mm -mm. Kiss my hipster to go, please. Yeah, no problem. Coming right up. There we go. Yeah, so if I end, like, maybe a couple more chairs here. And then maybe think about uh, having, like, a casual tourist area and maybe something else, too. The customers are complaining about the tourist trap price. Okay. The barista doesn't know anything about milk. We should probably upgrade our baristas, too. Uh, the price of the tourist trap is very affordable. So that's what they're complaining about. They're complaining about it being too affordable. Okay. Well, then let's make it on like, like not affordable. We'll increase that. We'll increase that up. Yeah. No big deal. We're going to need to get more coffee beans. Kiss my hipster to go. Also, we'll get a price increase. AARP should probably be like lowered, but we're going to increase it. Students get... Uh, get to class will also be increased. There we go. We'll increase our trendsetters. And then, um, let's see. Get more coffee in. Yeah, we gotta get more coffee in. Maybe better quality coffee? No. We stick with the what we got. We stick with what we got. Yeah. And then eventually, hopefully, we'll get, like, enough to where we can actually upgrade our baristas and stuff like that. We need to get style points and we need to get a better rating too. There's so much that we need to do. The tourist trap should be overpriced. I agree. I agree. Holy crap. Every time. I'm three pennies. Jesus. Jeez la woo. Jeez la woo. Jeez la loo. Jeez la loo. <laughs> All right, we'll just let it go. I'm not putting coal in the train. They can kiss that goodbye. Trash. You gotta like kind of play it this way, huh? Just so you can see everything. Yeah. Okay, thirty-two dollars. I mean, that could give us a couple of more chairs, but I don't think it's honestly necessary. I think what all we need to do is kind of wait until these researches are done. Then we'll get a little bit of more money into our, uh, into our pockets. Yeah, that's that's good money right there. Plus two fifteen on the tip. And plus, if we can increase our multiplier as well, that would be uh, king. So yeah, maybe um, get more style points into this train also would be a big deal. Now. I think they said something about, um, okay. once upon a time, I think they said something about, maybe not. I have a feeling they said something about, like, loans or something. Yeah, there is loans in this game, which we might actually dip into. Yeah. New ingredient unlock, big whipped cream. Thank you. We might dip into this. It depends on how much. Oh, loans not available yet. Never mind. Get out of here. Get out of here. Never mind, no loan. Yep. We'll just let it be. I do want to add snacks, though, to the train. Now, we actually do have quite a bit here. I guess that's another thing we would have to research. Syrup and toppings we can kind of get rid of right now. Wait a sec. How do we research um, snacks? Okay, so I guess it's a decoration piece. So we research snacks. 
I'll do one item a day. Tone down that research a bit. We'll do that. Trash, sir. Thank you. Take that trash as well. Perfect. Guess we have enough to put down some more uh, seats. The only problem is, is that we're not like overcrowding here. So we don't need to actually put down another seat, I don't think. If anything, we need to put some decorations up. Yeah. We need to put some decorations up. Maybe get them a little bit more happy about the style points. Things like the tourist likes the tourist likes the medium painting, uh, the books knowledge, businessmen and tourists like that. Uh, this is just straight up style points if we just wanted that, which we should. We should just place it and send it. There we go. That will hopefully get people a little bit more excited about this place too. It puts our style points because for the next gold bean, because we have two out of five gold beans, for the next gold bean, the third one, we're going to need 25 style points. We already sold the coffees and then we got to get a rating up and all that. Complaining about the uh, the prices are too high for the, uh, the students to get to class. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, let's decrease that. Freaking students. Them and whatnot. Uh, uh. It's all about kind of just finding the right balance, right? That's all it is. That's all we're trying to do is just find the right balance. Some of them don't like... I don't think some of them like the, the cheap chairs. And then some of them don't like uh, certain... Like some of the, you know, social classes don't like certain things. Plus, we don't really have anything for the casuals either at this point. Right? Students get the class price. Prices are too high for that. Again, ay 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 ay. Y'all are complaining. Y'all are complaining, students. I know, like, I get it, you're on a budget, but why the hell are you on a train in Siberia? Let's talk about that. You know? Can I put Bella's picture up yet? No. Uh, I cannot put Bella's picture up yet. No. I don't know what uh, campaign mission that is under. But yeah. Mm -mm. Students getting hit hard by that inflation. By that inflation or by their own cause? Probably both. I do want to expand this so far so bad off over here but I also feel like it's our it's our baristas that are not doing too well too I think our baristas are kind of slacking as well I don't know how much money it costs to train them for the next one so I want them their coffee to be like better so like Noah Garcia he's here for 12 hours of the day and he has very poor coffee skills so maybe spending the $80 on him probably the best way to go <clears throat> students get to class please there you go oh i'll take that trash from you get that little bit of coffee and then once this research research is done getting snacks we can at least put one snack in maybe possibly hey if the if the train isn't going then i guess that uh you know that keeps um <laughs> that keeps everybody uh keep buying coffee over and over right Ah, oh, we're not going anywhere. Might as well buy some coffee. There you go. Yeah, of course. But I do need to add a little bit to the uh, to the casuals. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Kiss my hipster. I can't get enough of that. Uh, let's go to the cat. I think the casuals are the last ones. Yeah, the casuals are the last ones that we haven't like done something for. So they want hot. They want ice cream and they want small. And they want medium calories, and they want a bunch of unique layers. Holy crap, dude. Okay, so do they... Okay, um... Uh... Hey, let's go... Espresso? Okay, hot 50 to 79. That's too hot. Too hot, maybe? But that's all right, because we're going to put a rose in it. So hot. And we're going to put ice cream in it. They want ice cream. We'll give them the peanut ice cream. Doesn't matter what ice cream, as long as it's ice cream. So 50 to 79, where are they at now? They are at zero temperature. Okay, that's not good. Let's crank that bad boy up a bit. Bring them back up to 50, in a way. 50. 50, okay, perfect. They're at 50 now. And then they want a bunch of unique layers. So maybe, 
Honey? Oi, oi, oi. They want hot steamed milk. They want chocolate syrup. Oh no, dude. Uh, they want butter. <laughs> okay, so they have all the layers. Now we just need to balance it out a bit. So they would want less coffee. This is ridiculous. I tell you, this is ridiculous. This is so much. Okay, small. 200 milliliters. Where are we at with that? 249. Okay, back it down, everybody. Back down your peanut ice cream. Back down your butter, especially your butter. I think that just needs to be like barely a layer. Where are we at? Okay, all right. Okay, we did it. Oh, all right. Very well. Yes. Okay. Rosetta? Oh, wait. We need more uh, steamed milk. Right? Oh, no. We need to go. We need to have the butter and then steamed milk. Butter, steamed milk. That's what we need. And then we just need to back it down a bit. How are we doing? Calories need to be medium. Bring down the butter. Okay, Rosetta, do I have it? I do, send it. Casuals have a trend. This will be... Get off my lawn. Okay, we will add that to the menu. All right, perfect. So now they have something. And I don't think we need to really buy anything out of, like we could just continue. There we go, yeah. Hey, hands on world, what's going on? Does the movement of the train adds a little to the gameplay? Would you expect there to be a setting to turn that off? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It is part of the mission. It's a good question. I don't know, though. There we are. Um, yeah, if we can just research one snack, I'll be happy with that. Okay, so every Oh, frick me. Okay, so everybody has a place on the menu. We have, we have served everybody. Everybody has something to buy. Everybody has a trend, so to speak. Um, maybe things have uh, switched a bit because trend... Oh, businessmen have nothing to order. Are you serious? Did we not... Uh, hi, hi, hi. I thought we took care of them. Did we not take care of them? Okay, apparently we didn't take care of the businessmen, so let's take care of them now. They want very few unique toppings. We will send them up with this cup, that's fine. They want a waffle roll. They want their stuff to be frozen. Put ice cubes in there. Oh, they want a large. Alright, we will definitely give you a large. They want chocolate syrup. Which that means we're going to need to buy chocolate syrup. Um, let's see. They want a large. <laughs> with. I don't know if this is a large, dude. What is this? Oh. There we go. Is that a large? That's a large. Hey, Donna Trent with the nine months. Hey, Donna Trent. Thank you for the nine months. That was very, very kind. You appreciate that, Donna. Nine months. Love it. That's a lot of support right there. Thank you very much, Donna. Hope you're doing well. Big ups to you. And thanks for subscribing, Liz, as well. Thank you. This is very easy. Uh, and then let's just add the toppings. They want the waffle, they get the waffle. They want a macaroon, they get the macaroon. There you go. There's your freaking trend right there. This is... This is... Don't speak. I'm at a... There we go. Perfect. Now we just need to buy the chocolate syrup is all we need to do. Other than that, we're good to go. Let's get that in. Uh, is it an ingredient? Chocolate syrup? Just chocolate. There we go. Bring in two of those. Perfect. Fine. Continue. Boom. Everybody has a place here on our menu now. Even Bella has a place on the menu. You hear that? Bella has a place. Okay. So now everybody except for the kids and the techies should have a place on the menu, which 
which they it doesn't matter because the techies and the kids don't ride on my train. I got, I bring every, everybody else, but I don't bring in those those people. Those people. <laughs> I love the fact that they just ordered to get off my lawn. I appreciate that. Now we should get our rating up a bit, hopefully. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. What are you doing? Hi, how are you? Hello. Oh, she needs a hug. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. Did you have a day? Yeah? Are you okay? <laughs> Would you like to ride on my train? I'm selling coffee. I have hot chocolate as well. Would you like that? I have my water. My plant needs water, too. Our chocolate just came in. Everything okay? Don't mind me, I'm just still doing my thing. I got some trash laying over here too as well. How's your tooth? Let me... Did it hurt? You okay? Did they give you medicine or did you have to take medicine? Got it done though. You have to do it again, right? Oh, yeah. You had to do it again. Mm -hmm. Win. Need to do a, another one. How do you? Yeah. <laughs> Did they numb you? I can't feel I it. Can't feel <laughs> Danielle just got dental work done. She said it was the worst pain ever, but uh, she kept biting her tongue because her mouth was numb and she couldn't feel it. So the people were like, you're biting your tongue. Like, I can't feel my face. Holy crap. So she had a she had a little bit of a rough morning. The dentist did did their job and they went in hard. You know how that is. Anyways. So yeah, we're making money though. We are making money. Did we get this done? The matcha green tea cake. You know what? That's fine. I'll take that. Let me take this off real quick. Add a little bit of snack. I do want to add that. Hey. Wait, these things actually give style points? Oh, they don't. But we can at least add the matcha green tea, green tea cake. Go take that son of a gun. Damn. Now they, they buy that, yeah, I think. I think they buy it. Follow new trends. I don't like how fast these trends are going. I'm getting left in the dust here. So I think now we might be comfortable enough to actually uh, upgrade this guy. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade him. Get his very poor coffee to now poor coffee. Get that rolling. Yep. No calls to target because she was getting kidnapped this time? No. No calls to target. They didn't put her under like anesthesia like she did years ago. I told them about the target episode. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember that you called Target because you thought I was kidnapping you? You were gonna call the police. I had to take the phone out of your hand. That was gonna be terrible. I was trying to drive you home and put you in the bed. You see, I'm on the Polar Express. This is the Kansas Express, not to be confused with the Wizard of Oz. You want to go on the Polar Express? This is the Polar Express. Christmas in July. That's basically it. In a nutshell. Oh, thank you, Donna. Best channel ever. Keep up the good work. You bring happiness to my day. Oh, I'm glad I bring happiness to your day. Absolutely. I should probably put down some chairs now. 
This is the game that Bella's in. This is the game that Bella's in. I can't put her in right now, but this is it. She's not on the Polar Express. I wish she was. Ah, I can't put the chair there. Because it doesn't work. I know it does look like it could go there. Yeah, it is. They put it right here, right in the middle of the walkway. Don't put it there. That's too bad. They could walk around it. There we go. Perfect. They could walk around it. There's our units of coffee. We're going to have to up the quality of coffee here soon. Yeah. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Did you? You, you did what? Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, Craig, how you doing, Craig? What's going on? Good to see you. <laughs> hey, Crystal, how you doing, Crystal? What's going on? You went to the Discord message? But it wouldn't verify me. Maybe you know already. Steam has had your stream running for the game. Right on the front page. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I They asked me if they could. They were nice enough to get my permission first. And I said, of course, yeah. For sure. <laughs> you love Danielle's sweatshirt? She loves it, too. That's her comfort sweatshirt. Yeah, we've been very blessed with all these indie games. They've been really nice reaching out and saying, you know, can you put, can we put your stream on the, uh, on the, you know, on our Steam page? There's been a, quite a few people that have done that, and I really appreciate that. It's really cool to see. It's one of my favorite things to see. For sure. I, I think Bella got her toy now. Okay, we got a little bit of money now. Let's um, go ahead and add, it's a lot of money. Let's do $32 in coal. And then maybe add a little bit of training on milk. Add a little bit of training on milk. Okay, we'll do that. For that, for one of our people, yeah. Excuse you. Is Discord members only? No, it's for anybody. You just gotta verify. Yeah. Usually verification is done through phone numbers, I believe, too. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Improve the level to poor now. Yeah. You on a work break now, Craiger? Hey. Look at that. Get off my lawn and a matcha green tea cake. I'll take it. We're making some money, I think. How much money have we made? Okay, we're not making money. We're negative $38 a month. Or, sorry. A day. I'm negative... $38 a day. We're climbing. We're getting better, though. Really probably need to get down to, like, the brass tax of maybe getting, like, a, the third golden bean. Which, that's my ultimate goal right now. So, adding more style points. And then the rating, of course, and all that good stuff. Can you put this in the fridge? Thank you. A little colder. Get it, girl. Bella's getting it. They can't see it because it's green screen. Oh, that's... <laughs> it's supposed to be a giant pickle next to my head. It's Bella's pickle. She has a big pickle. This is it! This is our channel now! I'm a pickle! I had a, so this over here, I want to maybe do a little bit of 
Yeah, like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Like tourists, medium car. The what they like the tourists like the cars on the on the wall. Let's do a little bit of cars on the wall. Is that like a challenger? What is that? Oh, bam. Wow, we'll that to the wall. What else can we add to the wall? We need more style points. Seniors and tourists like that one. Oh, seniors like this one. A painting frame of a wedding. Is that what that is? That. Oh, dude, hang on a second. What was the, what was the, uh, oh, is this it? Oh, best decorated coffee shop in town. I'm on a train. How do we, uh, hang on a sec. I got to figure out how to do it again. I got to figure out how to get into that other camera angle. I forgot how to get into the other camera angle, but look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, God. The detail. Mr. and Mrs. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Perfect. <laughs> you rock. One coal unit. Here we go. We're going again. We got the oh. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> What? This? This? That's Diablo 4. Oh, frick. Now we're making money. Okay, we're making money. We might need to bring in some good quality stuff. Now, where's our multiplier at? We're at four now. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. The higher our, the higher our, our style points, the higher our multiplier. So now that we're hitting four, we can actually make even more money. That's basically what we're doing. We're just kind of making sure that our trends are trending to some degree. Not all of them, I guess, because it's hard to keep up with everything. But at least we have the multiplier now starting to make us really good money. Just keep it coming. Just keep it coming, really. Keep it coming. Add more decorations. Add the styles. Let the styles go up. The students like this. What the heck is this? What is this? What is that? Is that a train? The students love the train. Give them a train. They want a train? Give them a train. There you go. Whoa. So we need to work into that little bit of area. What is this? Seniors, points, hipsters, and seniors. Yeah, we'll do that. What is this? Hipsters and seniors love that? Very well. We'll just add that. Style points are now up to 24. We're really, um... Catering to the seniors, it looks like. We need to get tourists maybe up. Or students. What's special? Audio equipment? Radio? Jukebox? Oh, baby. That'd be kind of nice. More plants? Businessmen like plants. Tourists like plants. Do students like plants? Students like plants. They like the pink flowers. Perfect. Cool, dude. There we go. Gotta get more simple water filters. There we go. We got those in. Train stop because there's no coal again. That's all right. Trends have changed again. I'm not going to micromanage that too much. So where are we at now? Rating is at 17 out of 20. Style points are 26 out of 25. And then we need to have a barista with a coffee, coffee skill of good, which we only have up to find. So now we got to save a little bit of money. <laughs> I had a picture of a plane. Now you got planes, trains, and automobiles. Facts. Dude, I could have made the logo a plane. That would have been even better. Okay, so how much money do I need to actually get this guy or anybody trained up to... What is it? Good? It's this guy. Frank Hill. I need $240 to get him trained up. So that's going to be a second. I get some of that. We're making money, though. And we're having a dirty coffee shop. Maybe throw in some cheap, uh, cheap t seats. There we go. Add more people. That's a little too much. I'm not doing that right there. There we go. Cool. 
I like it. I'm about it. I'm for it. I'm with it. Send it. All the above. <laughs> What's the significance of the train stopping? So basically, uh, your goal in this mission is to have the train travel 2,500 kilometers, and you need to buy coal. Sorry, your train to travel 2,500 kilometers, and you need to buy coal to make the train go, and then the train runs out of coal, but the coal is, like, pretty expensive. So, yeah. Do we have research rolling again? I think I want, um, well, eh, we're very, very close. Looks like we are actually starting to get a line here. Give you a discount, sir. We're very, very close to the golden bean, I think. Yeah, we are very close to the golden bean. Okay, so now we're going to get Frank Hill, trade him to good. And then once that happens, we should be getting our third golden bean. It's a lot of money we just dropped on that guy. Offer you a discount, sir. Go faster, faster, faster. Our lines are getting longer, longer, longer. People are loving our stuff. Get the tourist trap coming. Come on. There we go. We got more chairs, more seats. I think the style points is really what's making it worth worthwhile here. Just milk. What are that? Yep. The train is doing it. And I'm kind of holding off on the train just until we get like enough money. And then I'll kind of like put it all in coal. Oh, the other mission goal we have too is we have to make $300 at least in profits in one day. It looks like we've actually made it up to the positive now with $35. So that's, that's progress, baby. Yeah. Hey, Danielle. How you doing, Danielle? What's going on? You missed y'all. How's everyone? How is everyone? How are you doing, Danielle? Good to see you. Good to see you. Jennifer King! My lord. He's got a front end. <laughs> is that a tourist? That's definitely a tourist. You can definitely get down and dirty here. And just reference somebody's username, but you know what I mean. You get down and dirty in the you can get really up 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 close with them. There is a lot of tourists on this train. Oh look at the money come in, it's so good. It is two hundred dollars. Let's get that multiplier up even more. Yeah, let's get that multiplier up even more. Um hipsters like golden coffee beans. Where are we at right now? Hipsters and students and tourists are kind of low. Let's get this son of a gun in. Yeah. Put it like right there. Boom. Style points, baby. If we can get this to 40. Get the style points to 40. It will give a six time multiplier. Which is pretty strong, right? For sure. A blue orchid. Or orchid. Is that what that's called? Orchid. Maybe put that over here with these folks. 30 now. Um, let's see what else we can put. Um, Hopper Sculpture, please and no thank you. Students, they like, what is this? What is it? What the heck is this? A candy jar. Of course they do. Um, let's put that over here. Candy jar. The candy man can. Hey! Candy man can because he mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. Billy Wonka makes everything he bakes satisfy and delicious. Talk about your childhood wishes. You can even lick the dishes. Alright. Hey Tom, how you doing? What's going on, Tom? Good to see you. Welcome in. You're alive and breathing, have an appointment with a neurologist and a cardiologist tomorrow, so that's crazy, but I'm otherwise good. That is crazy. Both of them? Neurologist and a cardiologist? That's insane. Hope you're doing good. Are you liking the game? I'm liking the game. I am liking the game. I'm liking the game. I'm liking the mechanics. I'm a little bit biased, of course, because Bella is in the game, but it's damn cute, so I'm good. But yeah.
You like that? I got my golden bean! Hooray! Three three golden beans, an additional small cash bonus of $500. That will really, really help out. So what's the next one that we need for the golden bean? Have a high rating, have a Reese's with a skill milk of high, and then 50 st style points, and so on and so forth. Cool. Uh, then new challenges come in, and then once we do the challenges, we can actually get more money. Now... $500 is probably, or sorry, $300 profit a day is going to be something that we need to think about top tier. So how do you spend your $500 now that you have $500? Well, I think what we do is we uh, maybe add more chairs and more, we get the multiplier up. That's first and foremost. Ones that are slacking now are tourists and students. That's what we do. We get them up and coming. Casuals and seniors. Casuals are not even part of this style point thing. Okay. Let's see here. Tourist. Students. We can put students over here. We're mixing it. I was going to put them kind of like organized, but nah, dude, I'm mixing it. I'm mixing it. We're diversifying. There we go. We'll do a little bit of that. We'll go chairs. What chairs do some of these people like? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hipsters and seniors. Do we have a? Do we have a student? No. All right. It's a wooden stool. Maybe we'll be fine. Hopefully, it's not too too high. Let's see. Lord. Oh yeah. Is it too high? No, it's not too high. It's perfect. How much money? 291? Perfect. Perfect. Last one. This will bring us up to a multiplier of six. Nice. All right. So now I know we have $21. Believe me, I know. But we at least have a multiplier of six now. So now the next thing, if we want to get eight, we got to get 80 style points? Holy crap, that's a lot. Anyways, uh, let's continue. Now the money should be rolling in, for sure. For sure, for sure. I don't know if it will be like $300. For sure, for sure. But, you know, yeah. So glad you're liking it. It's raining here today, so I'm enjoying the extra cozy vibes. Oh, very good. It rained really hard the last couple days for us. Hey, Jocelyn, how you doing, Jocelyn? Oh, you're off to work, Jocelyn. Very well. Have a good day at work, Jocelyn. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll let this kind of roll in, and hopefully this multiplier, now that we have six, will come at a great, great, great... Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen anybody in the high chairs yet. Not like a high chair, high chair, but, you know, tall chair. Wait a sec, what did you order, ma'am? Is that the rose leaf something, rather? Good for you. Now, this is going to be the next big problem here. Um, <laughs> trying to, to make sure that we have our coffee going out fast enough. Looks like our speed is going to be a problem. So now we got to kind of work on this. We're going to repair this a bit. Now, if we wanted to get the extra or the, I guess, the better quality... Uh, this would be the same speed if we got an upgraded coffee machine, but the quality would be better, but the speed would be the same. We gotta get our speed up. We gotta get faster. We have all this attraction. People are loving everything about our coffee shop. We just need to get the coffee kind of pushed out faster. Looks like maybe we're, we'll need, like, maybe two baristas on shift at a time. That might be it. Push the coffee out faster. I mean, what's your speed? I mean, this person's speed is fine, too. That's the problem. Is like, even with the fine speed, they're still, like, kind of behind. So let's look here. Higher. Very poor art. Very poor milk. Very poor coffee. But you work 12 hours a day, and your speed is fine. I can work on the very poor stuff. I can make... I can upgrade that stuff, no problem. Optimism. You work nights. I kind of might take that. 
you know what? I will take that. Get hired Janet. Work with you, Janet. And we can do... Uh, we can do... We can do that. Yes, we'll do that. And then we will tell Janet... Where's Janet? Tell Janet to work on her coffee, work on her milking, and work on her arting. Nice. I think that's a good spend. And then we'll have more customers, you know, we'll have these uh, baristas come in and help out our lonely, lonely staff here. And I think the money will go in faster. What is this here? New challenge. Sell nine tourist traps in 23 hours. If we do it, we get plus five rating. If we fail it, we lose $300. Nine tourist traps in 23 hours. That person's asking for a tourist trap. Should I do it? I feel like I maybe could. Possibly. Yeah. Does the drone still deliver the supplies? Yeah, the drone still delivers the uh, supplies. Hey, Stacy, how you doing, Stacy? Good to see you. Have a good one, Laura Shell. You take care. Have a good night. I think I'm going to do this. Let's do it. Nine tourist traps in 23 hours. Kiss my hipster to go. Very well. And hopefully our backup barista, when that person comes in, will help us out big time. Don't speak. I'm at a meeting. Okay. Tourist trap. There we go. There's a tourist trap right there. Barista has finished all of the training. That's good to see. The better our baristas, the better our coffee. The better our... Everything. Don't speak. I'm at a meeting to go, please. Okay. 25... <laughs> Just think, these people are ordering like a $25 coffee. <laughs> Look at the money being spent here. It's kind of ridiculous. $22? Like, what the hell? I wouldn't even buy that. I need some fizzy lifting drinks? Yes, as long as you don't touch the sides. Don't touch the ceiling because it needs to be clean. You lose. Good day, sir. By the way, how you doing, Dreamer? What's going on? You're a liar, you're a crook. Two out of nine now. Kiss my hipster. Tourist trap and a matcha green tea cake. Perfect. Okay, you know what? This is going pretty well. Yeah, this is going pretty well. I could even add a little bit of... What, what's our profit right now? Minus $10 a day still. What? I disagree. Let's go... There we go. More is always better, no? All right, I'm, I'm just hoping our second barista comes in soon. I want to see that. I know, like, the, this, isn't, this isn't the time for the second barista to come in. Not yet, but we're very, very soon. I want to see, like, the double team action here happen. My lord. Come on, come on. Where's our second barista? She, she should be coming in very soon. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. Surprised she's not in right now. What time does she work at? 11 p.m. Okay, so she's she's almost here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there she is. There's double... Okay, three people are working. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. Nice. That worked out. Now, one of these guys is going to be leaving here very, very soon. But take a look at that. Let's see how fast this goes now. I mean, I, this was unintentionally having three people. I wasn't expecting to have three people. But that's just how the schedule went. Look at our money. Our money is killing it. A, a daily profit of $158 now. That's how you do it. Yep. Yep. There it is. There it freaking is. Now, the question is, will I be able to get the t nine tourist traps? I think so. Because there it is right there, right? Okay, that, I think that guy's trying to leave work. Okay, so two baristas 
going at the same time? Money. Freaking magic, dude. Okay, all right. Now, let's start uh, doing more of this, shall we? Frank Hill. Increase your speed, sir. Get owned. Uh, Janet. Let's increase your coffee-making skills. Noah. No, Pedro. Increase your coffee-making skills as well. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right, we did that. We got uh, more skills on that too. We completed our mission. We will claim that award reward. And um, that puts us up at 53 out of 60 now. So all we need to do is get one of our baristas to milk level good. It looks like we updated your recipes to follow new trends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. We got to water our plant. There we go. Cool. I don't think we needed like necessarily needed to hire a... A cleaner. I don't even know if we could actually hire a cleaner or not. I feel like one of these guys are stuck. I feel like the I feel like this guy right here is stuck. Where's your milk at? We need that to go to good. Somebody's milk needs to go to good. I guess your milk could go to good there, Noah. When I get $180, we could do that. Nice. Alright, I'm very, very happy with how everything's going. Very, very happy. Just got to make sure our our, um, our ingredients and our supply continues. There we go. Look at that. Double team action. I might need to hire one more person, too. Who knows? Nice. Okay, so now let's get our milk up. Let's... Noah? Noah has the best milk training, so we'll go 180 on him. Cool. Plus, the multi multiplier is really helping. This is sick. I like it. Is the train... Is if the train is the train rocking the people back and forth in line or are they anxious to get their coffee? I think they're just anxious. That's true, huh? Because they're just like Yeah. They are kind of like standing weird, aren't they? What is this? Have seven cabinets in five hours? You get three hundred you make no, decline that. Get that out of here. Look at the line, dude! Look at this line. What time is it? 12.38? Hey! I think I need to hire somebody. From 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. We gotta hire another person. To work afternoons. We need afternoons. Eight hours for afternoons? Perfect. Mornings? Not perfect. You're fine at coffee, fine at speed. Jonathan Black? Get hired, sir. Okay, you? Where are you, Jonathan? Jonathan, I need you, like, here. Eight hours? We need you there. 1 p.m.? 9 p.m.? 12 p.m.? 8 p.m.? That's good. That's good. All right. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe how, how many people are, like, going crazy about our coffee. This is insane, dude. All right, we'll get our style points up now because we're going to need that. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Hit me with a fire extinguisher. Yeah, people like fire extinguishers, right? Yeah, they like it. They think that's safe. Hey Where does that put us? Two more style points needed. I'm kind of putting random stuff in. Kind of dig it. Um... Planted leaves? Sure. Maybe on a table somewhere, like over here. Yeah. Planted leaves. Perfect. And that puts us at 51. So now all we need to do is wait for our barista to have milk on good level, and we get our fourth golden bean. Nice. Nice. CL says, I found your account for a bit less than a week, and since then, I've been binge-watching your videos every time I'm home. Well, shout-out to you, CL. I appreciate you binging the content. Good to see you, and welcome to a live stream, too. Absolutely. Good to see you. Welcome in. They're doing the cha-cha. They are doing the cha-cha. How much money we got? Oh, man, we're making disgusting amounts of money now. 
disgusting amounts of money. Okay, now our second person left. So we're back to this. But don't worry. At 11 p.m., the other second person will come back. So it's a brief moment where we don't have, like, two people here. Play music, folk, for seven hours. Time to complete. Ten hours. There we go! Yeah! There's our fourth one! There it is! Yep. Willy Wonka quiz for you, Cairns. What did he say after Charlie gave him back the everlasting gobstopper? He said... Grow up to be like Cairns. That's what he said. You understand me? You get it? Hey! That's what he said. That's what he said. $1,500. I agree. Holy moly, we have a lot of money now. <laughs> we have a lot, a lot of money. Whew. Now all we need to do really is get this coal going and get the profits up. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Let's go here. Let's add some coal. Let's buy. I don't know. I don't want to overdo it. Six units of coal. We'll get that in. And then. What to do? This is a lot of money. I'm trying to figure out what to do with all this money. We have the coal coming in. We could spend it on people. Style points. If we can get that all the way up to a multiplier of 8, 80. There's a possibility there too. Let me see here. Special. Jukebox. Six style points. Goodness gracious. Let's put a jukebox here. Jukebox zero. Perfect. So, play music, folk, for seven hours. I accept. Okay. Perfect. Oh my god. There's a lot of weird hearts popping up. I don't know if they like it. <laughs> I don't know if they like folk. They probably don't like it. Oh no, dude. Customers can't buy the kiss my hipster. No, 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 It's coming. It's coming. Just wait. The the coffee's coming. Supplies are coming. They're coming. Just wait a second, my lord. Oh, we completed that. Oh, look at that. Have at have last day profit of at least three hundred dollars. We made fifteen hundred dollars. So all we need to do is just travel this train 25 kilometers and we complete the mission. Oh, well then there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have done did it. Stop, please. Don't embarrass me. Okay. Right. Good. That's all we gotta do. We gotta drive this thing now. That's all we gotta do. Drive it. Get it out of here. Get it going. Let's go. Choo-choo. Get the cold coming. Where are we at? Where's the coal? Six, seven hours still. My God. Still gonna wait a while. All right, we'll just sit on uh, autopilot then. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. Lily, hey Lily Rose. What's going on? Gonna catch the stream, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, Lily. Yeah, hope you're doing well. Finally, YouTuber, I like watching. You're doing amazing. I hope you're going to have a long career in the entertainment. I hope so, too. <laughs> I hope so, too, CL. I appreciate that. I hope so, too. All right, here we go. Play music. We done did that. Get our completed. I should probably switch this now. Uh, I don't know, dude. Techno? Rock? Lounge? Let's do lounge, I guess. I don't know. It's a train. We can't have techno going off in the, in the lounge. Techno? Oh, crap. What's going on here? Techno going off in the train. We have like sandstorm going as we're stuck in Siberia. 
Are we good? Is our coal here? Our coal's still not here yet. We're still waiting on the coal. We're two hours away from the coal. Six units. Hopefully that's enough. If, if it's not, I'll just buy more. But I don't need to do any more adjusting to our uh, train anymore. We're good. Or to our coffee shop. We're fine. We, we won. We did it. That's what matters. Thumbs up. Yep. Yeah. That's what matters. Close enough. Close enough. We're on the fastest speed, too. Yeah, we're on the fastest speed. Or now we are, I guess. I'll just do another order of six, just in case if this is not enough. Send it! No, get out of here. And now all we have to do is watch this number go up. That's it. You watch that number go up, we're good. This place is rubbish? Uh, probably. I'm ignoring it. Go, train, go! Full speed ahead! Full speed ahead! Hopefully we have enough coal, though. We have another supply coming, just in case if I don't, but we got it. <sighs> this is great. This is freaking great. This deserves a KFC Diablo 4 sip. I've never played any Diablo in my entire life, so I don't know why that's a big deal. I've heard nothing but good things about it, but uh, not my forte, I will say. It's everybody's forte, just not my forte. We're done. We're done. I forgot what the next uh, what the next place was. Was it? Was it? I forgot what the. I, was it? It wasn't Japan. Japan's the last city. I don't know what the next city is, but we're gonna find out here soon. Hallelujah. Next mission. Now that you've proven your coffee making skills on the running Trans-Siberian train, it's time to set your sights on London. Your mission is to create a romantic coffee shop that makes customers fall in love with your coffee and atmosphere. But beware. There are rumors of a group of thieves targeting the area. Can you protect your coffee shop while keeping the love brewing? Who steals from a coffee shop? Open bathroom. Hire the first employee for the position security. Get a rating of 50. What? Where are we? Is this Welcome Amy's bakery? London. While the English weather may not always be the best, oh. I'm sure you'll find this beautiful and stylish place to be a great venture. Have you thought of a name yet? Anybody know Amy's Amy's Bakery from uh, what was it? Was it oh God Kitchen Nightmares? Hell's Kitchen? Not Hell's Kitchen. No, Kitchen Nightmares. Amy's Bakery, Arizona. Jesus, that was a terrible episode. That was ridiculous. That lady's crazy. Um, okay, right. So let's see here. Let's go. Uh, in that case, let's go. Hands Bakery. Perfect. Uh, he's insane. I will do a... Are we in London, baby? We're in London? Are we in London? We're in my country? Yay, London. Go London. GG's London. Hit me with the baker's hat. Yeah, that looks good. Make it... Make it... Something we haven't done yet. Make it... Red. Great choice. Thank you. I'm confident you know how to set up your business. Me too. So let's move on to new things. Do okay. you see that dark space behind the wall? It's a bathroom, and it would be a great idea to purchase it to give your customers more comfort. Let's buy it. This place didn't come with a bathroom? Click on the bathroom in front of the bath... Wait. Click on the sign in front of the bathroom. Is this it? The sign. Oh, that it. Buying the bathroom requires having a coffee shop level of at least three golden beans. You gotta have three golden beans before you can have a, a bathroom. 
You need three golden beans to open the bathroom, but don't worry. This place has already been given two golden beans. Oh, okay. So once you get one more, the bathroom will be available. Right. By the way, while your coffee shop currently doesn't allow pets, you can always change that. Do it now. Wait, what? By the way, while your coffee shop currently doesn't allow pets, you can change, always change that? Do it now? Yeah. Pets, welcome. Welcome in. Great. Pets are now welcome. Your yeah, customers right. will surely appreciate it, but keep in mind that you or your cleaners will need to clean up after them occasionally. Now let's focus on making this place more popular. We should start by checking what kind of customers we can expect in the area. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Who can we expect in London? Who can we expect in London? These charts are very insightful, aren't they? Ugh. Take some time to analyze them and decide which social group you want to focus on. Once you've made your decision, start a marketing campaign targeting that group. So it looks like they all come during uh, certain hours. Tourists come like every freaking hour. Students, not so much. Um, a big hump for seniors, a couple humps for hipsters, and then one hump and one hump for business and casuals. So tourists are probably like the way to go. At least in the beginning. Just because they're constant. They're all the time. So run a marketing campaign using media Beanstagram. I shall for my tourists. 10 days. By the way, thanks for subscribing, AJ. Appreciate that. Hey, Amy. Hello, Amy. Wonderful. Wonderful. You should be able to continue on your own now that you've learned all these new things. Very Before well. Before I go, let's add even more elegance to this already amazing decor. I, I saw agree. An incredible golden bean statue that would fit perfectly here. Buy it. A golden bean statue. A golden bean statue. No, not the snacks. Oh, we have croissants already unlocked. Nice. Special? <gasps> Dog bowls. Yeah. There's dog bolts. The golden bean, dude. Oh, my lord. This is actually putting something on the pedestal now. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, God. This is giving me a little bit of flashbacks of Steve Carell. This is putting something on the pedestal, isn't it? This is absolutely what it is. Okay, the golden bean. Right. The golden bean. Holy crap. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put the golden bean over there in the corner. <laughs> That's the magical bean that we don't know exists, but it does exist. We just don't know how to locate it. Some of us. Not all of us. Oh, no. <clears throat> I'm in broad daylight. I heard that there are thieves in this neighborhood, but I'm still shocked. It's time to seriously consider hiring a security guard. Otherwise, you may lose other valuable items soon. I have to go now. Good luck with your mission. Wait, he took my golden bean? Hey. A thief just robbed you? You took the thing I have a hard time finding, the golden bean. Jesus. See, this is why it's impossible. <laughs> ah! So our mission here is to get a rating of 50. Not hard to do. Hire the first employee for the position. Security. I think that's the first thing we should do. And then open a bathroom. What do we need for our third golden bean? We need a rating of 20. We need to sell 10 coffees. We need to get 25 style points. And we need to have a barista with a coffee minimum of good. Very well. What the heck? Okay. Now, I do wonder, since this has, like, dogs and things like that, does this give us the, uh... It does. This is where Bella is. This is Bella is in this mission in London. Let me see if I can find Bella. Where's Bella? Where's Bella? Where's Bella? There's Bella. Bella! Bella's right there. So, she gives us six style points. I think we need Bella in here, but we need to research this first if we want to get Bella. Oh my god. I'm freaking out a little bit. Okay, so let's 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 calm down here. Let's let's look what we got. Thanks first things first, hire security guard. Uh security. 
how long? Eight hours a day, six hours of the day. We could hire Richard Hill. <laughs> Do we want somebody who's strong or somebody that's not good at speed. What does strength do? I don't know what strength does. Richard is a security guard for the evening time. Sophia is a security guard for the evening time. Janet, evening time, morning time, and afternoon time. Bruce, morning. Richard, evening Bella is in her couch right next to me. What a good dog. Um, so we'll hire Richard. There we go. Target completed. Thank you. We'll add him to the schedule. He wants to work mornings. Whoops. You can't change the working hours when your employee is at work. Really? 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 Bella is just sleeping in her couch because she wants to sleep in her couch. Now, we have baristas. Who's our barista? Oh, this is a, okay, sorry. Security. Evenings. He wants to work evenings. So let's go. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., I guess, is okay. And then we'll hire... Bur oh, my God. What a good dog. And... 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. is where Johnny is at. So he wants to work mornings. We can do that. Let's hire another barista, obviously. I want speed. Scott Miller, mornings, F. Scott? Scott? 10 p.m. to 6 a.m.? Yeah, that looks good. Oh, let's do 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. For sure. Hey, Dreamway Games, how you doing? Thank you for playing Espresso Tycoon again. Thank you for making an awesome game. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. Did you show Danielle the portrait of Bella in the game? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. She loved it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, lady, lady fluffy penguin. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Okay. So now let's see. Uh, we'll do another hit on employees. Maybe somebody that wants to work the night. The night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Speed's poor, but I'm taking it. We're taking it. We gotta at least have all the hours covered here. So 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. So there's a little bit of a gap between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Let's fix that. I know this is kind of crazy, right? Kind of crazy. And we have afternoons. We don't have any afternoons. Optimism... We'll do optimism, I guess. Art, fine. Um, this one, Janet. Hey, Janet. I need you to kind of be put in right there. Perfect. Okay, so all the hours are covered. We'll have to fix Johnny, maybe. Well, or something, rather. I don't know. Maybe not. And then let's see. Hire a cleaner. This is a lot of money that I'm putting down. Maybe just one cleaner is fine. You know, speed, I maybe better, right? Steve Morgan, you'll come in, buddy. You'll clean it up for us. From, I don't know, you prefer mornings? All right, we'll just give you morning time. How about that? 12 a.m. to 12 p.m., perfect. And then we have our security guard, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We might need to hire more, but we probably should be making money first. Okay, All right, this is a lot, isn't it? My lord. Dogs are amazing. I had four while growing up. Lost two in 2017 and lost one a year ago. If to cherish these moments, we have them. Absolutely. You're right about that. All right. Back to the coffee editor. Here we go. Next step. Tourists. We, we're, we're, we're targeting tourists first because we know that's going to be, that's our marketing, 
right? We know that they come in most of the time and, and, and all that. It's it's good stuff. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. So they want to have a smaller cup of coffee. Or sorry, caffeine. They want a wait, they want eggnog? Oh crap, dude. Okay, they want a 200... Okay, they want a big size. They want a large size cup of coffee. They want some... Okay. They want very cold. All right, so let's go ice cube, maybe cold brew. They want few unique layers. They want eggnog. Do we have eggnog unlocked? Or do we need to get eggnog unlocked? Ah, we need to research eggnog. Okay. <laughs> Break. So we won't be able to do the full trend on... The tourists, but we can at least give them something to like. We'll add more cold brew. Maybe more ice cubes. Ooh, caffeine, 100. What are we at? Caffeine is at 263. Okay, bring that down maybe a bit. There we go. Very cold. Where are we at? Temperature at negative 11. Oh, they want it between uh, 0 and 9. Whoops. Maybe that was too much ice. There we go. And then maybe more cold brew added. Ooh. Going the wrong way with this. Okay, let's go here. Here. Add a little bit of... Uh, maybe take the ice cubes out. Take the ice cubes out. Sits at 10. 100 mil milligrams of caffeine. Bring that down. It was 100 to 249. Okay. And then maybe just cold water. There we go. There we go. And then just large. Large and in charge. Perfect. Capacity's there. No, 250. Okay, definitely it's there. So eggnog and then the foggy leaf, which we just can't do. Which we'll 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 get that doing and take care of that later. That's at least something. So tourists, um, they're in London, right? So give it, uh, I don't know. London tourist trap. London <laughs> touring London I think that's going to be in the none. London I London I London is calling this will be the London I for now save add it Add to the menu. Flat white mocha latte macchiato. We have no milk frother. Okay, so first things first. You're being robbed? A thief has... No, 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 no. We're not being robbed. We already got robbed. We're done with being robbed, right? Jesus. Yes, we're done being robbed at the moment. Get, step away. Step away. Okay. Um, We need to upgrade this, I believe. First priority. Upgrade that. I like upgrading that first and foremost. We go that way. Okay, so tourists are something that's a big deal here in London. We know that. We'll take care of that. All right. <laughs> now, the next thing is... Um, what was the... Hang on a second. Let's take a look at this one more time. I think hipsters. The marketing? Uh, research? No. Yes, I want this. Give me paintings, because I want Bella. Give me Bella. Um, we also need a coffee editor, too. We need the... Oh, God, what was it? What was it? Was it, uh, was it a special ingredient? I got to see. Eggnog. I think it was a special ingredient. Yeah. Eggnog's a special ingredient that we need to research, too. So, special ingredient, egg, uh, item per day, one. 
one item per day. Decorations, snacks, paintings, stuff like that, maybe. Okay. Where did that thing go? <laughs> Where did the radio TV beanstagram customers? This is what I'm looking for. Tourists, pretty high. Students, not so much. Hipsters got two humps. My hump, my hump, my hump, my lady hump, my lady lumps. Talk about my something rather. Merlin, thank you for the four months, Merlin. Appreciate it. What about the London, London experience? That's going to come with the hipsters, probably. That's a good idea. Let's do the hipsters. What do the hipsters want? They want a cherry on top. Of course they do. <laughs> They want a very high calorie, no latte art, and they want cold water. All right, so cold water, medium caffeine, maybe a cold brew is fine. They want extras, which we can add heavy cream. And they want high calories, and they want a cherry on top. Do I have a cherry? I don't have a cherry! Okay. So I won't be able to do that full trend. Not yet, at least. Go back. So let's just crank this thing full of calories. <laughs> we do that. Crank it, baby! More calories, the better. There you go. Medium caffeine. Probably crank down the caffeine just a bit. 249 is our target. There we go. Alright, so this is at least this. What is the London? For hipsters. Don't forget the mayo. <laughs> Humpty hump cans. <laughs> Can we call the hipster drink overrated? That's what I hear them call everything. Yo. That's so... That's so... Overrated. Perfect. Yo, the tourists actually like this too. So this is a double... Uh, a double stick -em. A double whammy here. That's good. So we'll add... That's so overrated the menu we will order cream as well perfect i will add the latte makihito i will add the flat white cool okay so we have those taken care of now obviously we want to have everybody involved here so let's see what we could do to our best here with our best for the businessmen um they want a very large size coffee so i might need to get a bigger cup here maybe large size coffee they want low caffeine they want latte art yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and they want a cold brew and they want a cold brew very low in calorie Extra large. Maybe they just want water in there. Cold water. And they want latte art. And low caffeine. What the hell are you doing? Latte heart, uh, latte art, milk foam, a leaf, transcending with the business. There you go. Did I miss an R and overrated? Well, see, that's why it's overrated. Overrated is even overrated, dude. It doesn't need two R's. That's overrated. Hey, Nicolette, how you doing? The large coffee should be the Big Ben. Big Ben. 
business. Big Ben Biz Ness Men. How you like that? There you go. Perfect. We'll add that. Okay, that's cool. Should we continue? I think we should. We, let's continue. Let's continue with like going down the order. Seniors. Let's worry about seniors now. What the seniors want? They want a leaf too. They want ice cream. Um, they want high caffeine. Doesn't matter. I don't think what uh, what temperature it is. Oh, they want low calories, but they want high caffeine. Okay. They want some ice cream in there. I'll put some ice cream in there. Maybe some vanilla ice cream. Simple, easy. Oh. Low in calories. We got to bring this down then. Oh, at, well, maybe bring down the ice cream a bit. There we go. Very low. Add a little bit of leaf action. Give me a little bit of milk foam in there. Bring down the uh, milk foam a bit. There you go. Right? And they want a lot of layers. Crap. Maybe ice cubes. They want another layer, maybe water. And then they want a round leaf. Okay, okay, okay. Ice cubes, water, milk foam. Ice cubes, water, milk foam. Rick. Milk foam. Check this. Low calories. Check that. Add that. Round leaf. Trendsetter. Businessmen like it. Seniors like it. There we go. All right. What the heck is this called? I can believe it. I'm right there with you. The sweet Susie tea. <laughs> can you mix, mix hot chocolate with coffee? You can, yes. We actually did that on our train. We made a little bit of a mocha. Mocha. Seniors. Chelsea pensioners. Taking your word for it. All right. And that's in the menu. Order. Order. Here we go. All right. We have a three times multiplier. If we can get to a four times multiplier, that would be really good. So what do we do? Do we continue with this yet? Okay, let's see. I don't think we have that many left now. We have businessmen taking care of, hipsters taking care of, seniors taking care of. I don't think we have casuals taking care of. We have tourists taking care of. We don't have students taking care of. Let's take care of the casuals. Large, many unique layers, low caffeine, and they want wheat as they are. They said low caffeine. Very low caffeine. Maybe a little bit of espresso. Tone it down a bit. 21 milligrams. Is that what they want? Something less than that? Okay. They want a large. Maybe give them some ice hot water. <laughs> they don't care about temperature. Medium in calories. I'm trying to give them stuff that we already have. You want high calories. You want something out of the extras, too. Okay, they want extra, dude. Give them heavy cream, I guess. Uh, they want large, and they want a bunch of unique layers. Rick. Maybe a little bit of vanilla ice cream. Bring down the heavy cream. Hey, Bring down the hot water. You put hot water and vanilla ice cream together? I know, it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? By the way, thanks for subscribing there. Shonda, appreciate it. Uh, okay. Syrup, maybe like a, I don't know, a chocolate syrup in there too? Is that five layers? That should be five layers. Okay, five layers. Good. Okay, large... They have more than large. So let's tone that down a bit. Good. They want a art and they want medium calories. Where are the calories at? A lot. 
Tone down the calories. Tone down the calories. Where are we at? 249 in calories? Tone down the 249. Okay, there we go. Two something. Okay. They want a large cup of it. So give them some hot water then. They want a large freaking cup. 250. Oh, we're way down. 250. Okay, so all they want... little less calories and then wheat and that's it latte art okay we got this we got this it's a little bit of you know it's a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of adjusting but we got it lower on the heavy cream do we have the wheat friend setter Perfect. We did it. The plain Jane. I think Hyde Park for casuals. I named one of the drinks last time the plain Jane. London Bridges Fallen Down. London Bridges Fallen Down for the casuals. That yeah, sounds like somebody's like losing their pants. Isn't that from a song? Perfect. Order. Order up! Alright, now all we have to do is wait for those things to come in, and then we'll add now a bunch of decoration and whatnot. So, yes, we will be adding dog bowls to our establishment. That's obvious. Let's put the dog bowls over here. Give them two. I really want to see the dogs actually come in now. Uh, we will add croissants. We will add croissants to our uh, establishment as well. Croissant. I'm not a fan of these, but, you know, there they are. I have them in. That's what matters. Croissants. And then we will really, really, really be attached to, um, to students. Or, no, sorry. We'll be attached to uh, tourists. Yeah, tourists. I'm going to go after them tourists like this i'm bringing it in if they like it they get it where we're at right now they like it they get to have it place it in hipsters also are another thing i would like to uh to bring into romantic chair for 160 dollars. this is investment holy hell this is a lot of money that i'm spending on decorations but it does bring our multiplier up to four, so that's good. And we need 40 for the next one. Okay, I'm going to leave that where it's at for right now. We have a little bit of chair action over there, a little bit of chair action over here. What about decorations? Or painting, sorry. Seniors? Um, a painting of a tall girl? Sure. Painting of a... I don't know. Who the hell is a tall girl? <laughs> uh, right there. It's apparently a tall girl. And then uh, we'll help out the seniors with, like, this bridge. <laughs> Would you like a bridge over here? Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? That is the Golden Gate Bridge. That's San Francisco. We'll, br we'll bring a little bit of San Francisco into uh, London, I guess. Yeah? We'll do that. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, we're we're done. We're we're done. We're done. We're done. Now we're we're not gonna open right away. We're not gonna open right away. We're gonna wait until we get our uh, drones in first. Once we get our drones in, once we get our supplies in, then we'll open up the establishment. Yeah. A little cozy space with with couches and a center table. That's a good idea. I like that idea. To be a wide selection of sandwiches, scones, and biscuits. How can you tell she's tall? That's what I'm saying. There's our security guard. There he is. There's a pigeon on my awning.
Who the? Oh, look it! Yeah. Love it. There's dogs everywhere. The pug. Holy crap! Like a pit bull. Love it. When's the? Thank you. Finally, they're here. I gotta make some money, dude. All right. Let's open up. Open. Hooray! We are now officially open with confetti and no fireworks. Never mind, fireworks. I always say that now, don't I? All right, first customer of London. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, sir. Customers can't buy that so overrated with one R. F. Multipliers going in. You know what? That's probably going to drive a lot of people nuts if I leave that as is. Uh, let me go ahead and talk with this real quick. Uh, that's so overrated. With one R. With one R. I think that, that clears up that, right? I think that makes a little bit of a good explanation. With one R. Perfect. Fixed it. Fixed it. There we go. Big Ben businessmen to go. <laughs> Sounds so funny. It's, oh, look at this. He's bringing in a cat. You're bringing in a cat, sir. Your cat's not on a leash. I don't know about this. I don't know if that's how that works, man. I don't know. Oh, first dog. It's a tiny German Shepherd. Is that a puppy? Is that a Rottweiler? My goodness gracious. What is this lady wearing? Hello, how you doing? Welcome to my damn coffee shop. Um, <laughs> there's so much going on. It's everywhere and everything. Okay. Look at that. You think tourists is actually bringing their cats in? This is a tourist. Let me remind you. This is a tourist bringing in their cat. Bringing in their cat. A tourist? What are you doing with your cat? I thought London had some pretty le strict leash laws. <laughs> Look at the animals, dude. This is too cool. I love this. I want them to go to the doggy bowl. Oh, you could read. Oh, you could actually refill it. Okay. I don't know if they actually use it, though, but I want to see them use it. That's a good dog. It's a good dog. It's a good cat. It's a good dog and a good cat. Good cat. Was that a Doberman pincher? Not a Rottweiler. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, you're probably right. That's a Doberman. Yeah. Um, where's my research at? Did I research anything quite yet? Not yet. All right. Once I get the Bella painting, we're going to put the Bella painting up. Yeah. It's, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Honey, I shrunk the German Shepherds. That's what I'm thinking. Too. Everybody either has very tiny dogs or they all have puppies. <laughs> the tiny, tiny little thing. <laughs> it said pets, not dogs. That's true. But like a cat with no leash, that's... That's risk, man. That's very risk. You're, you're playing... Oh, wait, there's a San Francisco painting right there. Oh, frick me. I have two San Francisco paintings now. Damn it. Oh, that's... What is this? What is this? This is trash? The dog left this behind? No, oh, that's adorable. That's not trash. Hey, look at it. They leave their toys behind. I'm glad it's not like a giant pile of... <laughs> I'm glad it's toys. Oh, look, we have a little bit of an outdoor area I didn't even notice. Cool. Cool. I dig it. I like it. I'm all about it. I'm for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do have cat cafes in our state of California. They do have cat cafes, but people aren't bringing their cats in. The cats already live in the cafe where you can just have like a cup of coffee and then the cats just kind of roam around, you know? Stuff like that. Yeah. 
Oh, look at this. Okay, so our security guard's gone, right? Let's see what they steal. I'm kind of interested to see, see what they target. Are they targeting, like, paintings? Or are they targeting uh, chairs and stuff like this? I want to see. Oh, he took a chair. Okay, he actually took a very, very expensive chair. So that's pretty cool to see. I mean, I don't understand it, but, you know, it's an added element to the gameplay, I guess. But, all right, well, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll add more security guards, I guess, through all the hours and whatnot. So we got to have a security guard for the 24 hours. That's fine. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Fire security guard. Security guard. We have it. Wait, eight hours. So eight, six. Eight. Okay. So um, what, where are you at? You are at. I don't know. What's your schedule? Your scheduled is evenings. Okay. I'll hire you and we will go. Mornings afternoons okay that works out so we'll go mornings and afternoons and then we'll just add them security so you want to do morning so we'll go 2 a.m to 10 a.m and then 6 p.m to 2 a.m there we go we want afternoons that doesn't okay that doesn't classify as afternoons 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. There we go. All right, security is taken care of at least for now. A London eye to go, please. That's not to be confused with the uh, whispering eye, right? <laughs> I'm down a chair, dude. I'm down the chair. Do I have a handy person? I do have a handy person. Hold on, cleaner? Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, I'm very excited when you get to start out a new coffee shop. It's always fun. This is kind of like mobbing, dude. This guy's like a boss. Like, you need protection? Huh? Hi. You need protection from people stealing from your coffee shop? You need protection? I'll show you protection for this amount of money per hour. That's, uh, they save your coffee shop. It's kind of weird, because, like, like I said, who's stealing from a coffee shop, you know? Okay, so what do we need for our golden bean next? Sell 10 coffees and then have a good level of barista coffee skill. So we need to upgrade our coffee skill. So we got to save up money for that. Our mission still is to hire the first employee for the security position, which we've done. Get a rating of 50 and then open up the bathroom. So very, very, very actually, we're almost, I guess, there in a way right i mean we just need to get our rating up not too bad to do especially when we get our golden coffee bean in and then increase our multiplier to 40 to maybe get that six times too uh let's see research pretzel you gave us a pretzel i did not want a pretzel i want a painting I want a painting I wish you could actually, thinking about it, I wish you could actually select which decoration piece you wanted to research instead of it being, like, random. You know what I mean? If you could, like, pick, like, oh, I want a certain couch. I want a certain chair to research. That'd be pretty cool. Instead of just having it randomly picked for you, I guess. So we could put some pretzels there. The salts. Salt. There we go. Usually people don't steal chairs. They just chuck them across the room. <laughs> Backs, dude. Alright, so how much money is it going to cost for our person to go from... Uh, fine coffee. It's going to cost $240, $240 to get Janet from fine to good, which is what we need ultimately for our mish... No, for our gold bean. Yeah. We have the rating. We have the coffee sold. We have the style points. We just need the skill. That's it. Yep. Research in this game is just you scrolling through Amazon and saying, yeah, I want that one. 
Yeah, give me that one. Eh, no big deal. Yeah, give me that one. That one's fine. On the bridge is falling down. Eh, give me that one. Eh, give me that. Yeah, I'll take that. No problem. I will admit. The fact that they're kind of taking a little bit of time, right? Taking a little bit of time. How's the speed coming through here? Yeah, questionable. Trendsetter's helping, so that's good. Hey, hey. I, I'm not... I don't think I'm researching any of, like, the other trend toppings that we needed. There we go. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Customers can't buy that so overrated. They will soon. I just need 240. Now, I do not know if they actually gave us the introduction of loans in this one. They did not, still. Probably soon to come. And I do not know what mission is after London. <gasps> There's a Doberman, right? Doberman? Doberman comes in with the spicy lady. Spicy lady and Doberman action. You know, I'm very surprised that nobody's uh, pets have, uh, you know, there hasn't been a pet issue. You know what I mean? With cats and dogs living in the same space with no leashes. This is, this right here in real life is a recipe for disaster. Right? There's some serious, like, lawsuits potentially that could happen here <laughs> this is a very unsafe environment you got random dogs random cats coming into a building with no leash on you can't tell me there's not going to be a uh, a bad situation by the way our rating got plus 10 because we were the best decorated damn place in town You don't see any corgis, and it makes me sad. I think there is a corgi. Was there a corgi? I, I think there was. Maybe. I'll have to keep my eye out. <clears throat> I thought there was in the beginning. Maybe I maybe I maybe it wasn't one. Painting. Big bean coffee. No. That's not the painting I wanted. I wanted the big bella coffee. Sorry. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at that regardless. Uh, painting Big Bean Coffee. Businessman. Style points. Okay. Very well. Let's get Janet. Janet. Up there, 240. Big money grab. We'll do that. hey yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. I'll keep my eye out for the corgis. So now that we have that... So, look. Um, we have that taken care of. The rating's done. So all we need to do is open the bathroom. How much is the bathroom to open? Oh, you need to have three golden beans. Sorry. Okay, well, that's easy. Because that will be done here in very shortly. Has it always been dark? I feel like it's been dark the entire time we've been here. Oh, hang on. Let's order this stuff. You get in five units. That's good. <coughs> mission 8 is underwater and Mission 9 is Tokyo. No, the last one's Tokyo. I think maybe Mission 9 is LA. Or something like that. I like how the, it's funny that the pets actually... Uh, you know, the pets actually leave toys behind. It's kind of cute. I could probably add another chair or two. Right? Let's see here. What are these? Are these... Oh, God. God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Are these, um... What are those ones? Like that one? Aluminum chair, chair for hipsters? There you go. We'll leave that how it is. Have a good one, Donna. Do take care. Thanks for the re-up. I appreciate it. Dogs and cats living together. Old Testament kind of stuff. Ghost but You've ever seen cats and dogs? The movie. Didn't they have a... What's his face in it? Um, my God, what's his name? 
He's in the Capital One commercials all the time. No, I think it's Capital One. Maybe not. Maybe it's not the Capital One commercial. Uh, Gold Bloom. Gold Bloom? Gold Bloom. Gold Bloom. Gold Bloom. Gold Bloom? Gold Bloom. I think. You know what I'm talking about, yeah? Jeff Goldblum. Thank you. I think he's in the movie Dogs and Dogs and Cats, Cats and Dogs or something like that. Jeff Goldblum, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's in that movie. Oh my goodness, now I'm going to lose my mind. Right there. What is that? That is not a corgi. Damn it. What is that? I don't even know what kind of dog that is. Can I click on you? See what dog you are. It's still kind of weird that all the tourists are the ones with their animals. It is, isn't it? Kind of weird. Oh, okay. Very well. He had a very uh, panty pant. Cool. Thank you for the three gold beans. We are now a gold bean and we have $500. Candace! Candace! Thanks for becoming a member, Candace. Seven months. Seven months of support. Appreciate that, Candace. Big ups to you. Hope you're doing well. Big ups to you. Thank you very much, Candace. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. That was very, very kind to you. Very kind indeed. Okay. So, now that we have that taken care of, we just need to open up the bathroom. What do we need to do this? $1,500? You need to have at least $1,500 in your bank account? Doesn't seem too hard, I guess. Especially if we just up the multiplier, too. Um, the next gold bean, more style points for a four. Creamy cloud, bring it in. More tables, chairs, all the above. Cleaner is stuck behind the dog, F. How's our rating? 64 rating. Probably need more uh, baristas. All right, let's look into more baristas, possibly. 12-hour day, Sophia. I'll take it. Put you on. Uh, la, 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 la. You are an evening gal. Uh, let's see, let's see. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m.? 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, we'll do 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. For her. Nice. Hey! What are you doing? I completely forgot I changed my name until you said it. But it's Boho Hibby here. Don't know what I stopped being a member, but that had to change. Hope all is better <laughs> with you. Heart. Praying gesture. Thank you, Boho. I appreciate that. Okay, well, then I know exactly who this is then. I Well, I don't know if you rather prefer to be called Candace or Boho, but good to see you. Good to see you, Boho Hippie. Wonderful to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the uh, support, too. I appreciate that. And it's always good to see you. Should have robbed the train of the previous level. That would have resolved the fifteen hundred dollar issue. Agreed. Look at this money though. We're 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 now that we have our couple of baristas in, we're making this go. Fish sauce. Whoa! Hey! 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 No! 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 What? What? Huh? London? London. Please. London. Talk to me. Y'all gotta talk to me. What is this? What is this? What is this? You put fish sauce in your coffee? No. Come on. London. Get it together. Get it together. 
I'm not happy about this. No. Nope. Not happy at all. Fish sauce is for the cat people. That's pretty good. <laughs> You rather prefer Candace? Very good, very good. I will definitely do that. Love Bella just joining stream tonight. Oh, good to see you, Stacy. Run a marketing campaign using media TV with target social business men. Time to complete six hours. Rating will go up for that. I will decline that. That's not really the demographic I want to spend a TV ad on. We are now the cleanest coffee shop in town. I thought mayonnaise was weird, but fish sauces coffee is is not for coffee. I wonder if like it has to be some sort of like meme thing, right? Like like it must be like some silly thing that developers are like, oh yeah, you know, we're just trying to be funny with it, right? And like you know, <laughs> be funny with it. <laughs> Cause like that's kind of crazy though. I don't think unless there's somewhere, somewhere, uh, once upon a time, people are putting fish sauce on stuff. But I don't know. Let's add some more style points. Let's try to get our multiplier up to 40 so that we can get this up to six times on our monies. Probably could get away with a nice little jukebox. Yeah. Nice little jukebox. And then get away with a nice little plant action, yeah. Uh, let's go... Planted lemons? No. Potted flowers. Put that on the table over here, yeah? Kind of nice. And maybe add some more chairs. Or whatnot, yeah. Whoa, whoa, too far close, too far close. Uh, yes. That puts us up to a six multiplier. I know our money is like, oh my god, look at the money. Don't worry about it. That money, we'll, we'll, we'll get that back super fast. I should put this aside. Yeah, we'll get that money back super fast, for sure. All right. Continue. Now, what music is going? I don't know. Jazz? I'm going to leave it on jazz. I think that's a nice little hit. For sure. <clears throat> What's next? Pickle juice? <laughs> I don't know what could possibly be next. I'll be honest with you. There we go. There's our money going up with that multiplier kicking in. New painting of Stash. Hey! I think that's a... Um, I think that's a, uh, uh, I think that's a custom pet. Stash. There's Stash. Yeah, this is a custom, uh, pet of somebody's. So we got a pet, but Stash. There's Stash. We got somebody's pet. I don't know who it is, but we got somebody's. There we go. Nice. Works out. Fish sauce, Aioli. She needs to sit like a lady in that dress. Oh my god. Was she not sitting like a lady? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, the money is coming, is coming, is coming. No, they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. We're co we're making this go by fast too. The double the double the barista action is really helping out. So seven Big Ben businessmen. Yeah, we'll do that. We can sell seven of those, I think. Positively, positively, positively. See, I want to research Bella. <laughs> I want 
that to happen. I want there to be an automatic, oh yeah. By the way, here's Bella. What's the next um, upgrade? Is it uh, 80, 80 style points to get the uh, eight multiplier? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the garbage. And then honestly, we should probably just think about um, kind of upgrading our people too, as well. To make them faster or maybe better at coffee making. Look at that dog. Look at that son of a gun. That's a good dog. I wish I remember how to get into the other camera angle. But I don't remember how to do that. I don't remember what key it was. The alt, the control. That's Windows. I forgot what it was. Was it Tab? It was Tab, dude. Okay, I figured it out. It's Tab. Look at that. I don't know what kind of dog you are, but you're a freaking dog. Hello, sir. Oh. Oh, God. Get me out from under the table. What are you doing? I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> This is too cool. I just, I'm, I'm at the dog's eye level. That's, I want to see the dogs, not everybody's, you know. I'm trying to see the, the pets. And I accidentally go, why does everybody have to wear dresses in this town? You Londoners, what's going on? Y'all like to be fancy all the time? Look, my lord, I gotta fix this. Fix that up, no problem there. There's a Doberman again. Order some more cre <laughs> creamy clown, creamy, <laughs> I don't know what the hell I just said. Creamy clown, no, creamy cloud. I don't know what that ingredient was, my lord. There we go. All right. Very good. Look at the money coming, baby. Look at that. Almost a thousand dollars. It's it's rolling. It's rolling. Turn it out. All these baristas hitting it. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's money. That's money. We're going to get that bathroom before you know it. It's because the rest of us are down at the pub. <laughs> that has to be the name of the next drink, the creamy clown. Have to add mayo and fish sauce to it. Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at the little tiny pug. There's a little pug right there. Little baby pug. We completed that uh, quest, by the way. I think we found a happy medium with this game. I think we're pretty good at it so far. I mean, the beginning takes a little bit slow, but when you get things cooking and rolling and rolling and cooking, you can definitely get it going. $1,500 coming up, and once that does, mission complete, right? $1,400? $1,400? New item of Fuka. That's another pet. I remember that name because I was like, what the Fuka? Yeah, so that's another pet's name. We probably won't get... Bella unlocked for this mission, which is it is what it is, but I do wish I could like target certain uh, items to uh, To uh, you know Certain items to uh, to research, but it is you know, it is what it is <clears throat> It is what it is We're so close to 1500 dude we are very very close Creamy clown coffee, yum. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Your next destination is Mexico City, oh. where you'll be running a coffee shop in a fancy five star hotel. But that's not all. The hotel owner has also tasked you with curating an art gallery in the lobby. Don't worry, 
After charming your way into the hearts of Londoners and surviving the Siberian wilderness, this should be a breeze. Who knows, maybe your coffee will inspire the next masterpiece? So I have to get all these paintings and sculptures for the mission in Mexico City? That means I have a lot of research to do, no? It just need the Bella exhibit, that's right. That's all you need. Hola. This time we meet at a five-star hotel in Mexico City. While most hotels offer coffee to their guests, your task is bigger. To make this lobby a legit, full-sized coffee shop. Oh, God. Let's start with a brand. I'm in Mexico City. I don't even know... I don't know. I really don't know! <laughs> I don't know, dude. Perfect. Now, Perfect. I have exciting news for you. The owner of this place wants you to organize a real art gallery here with replicas of the most famous paintings and sculptures. How about starting with Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa, yes. Okay. So have a painting of Mona Lisa. Let's do it. Mona? Lisa. $500. God. Jesus. These all are going to cost $500 each. Oh my lord. Where do you want me to put the Mona Lisa at? <laughs> Anywhere in here? This is this is not the real Mona Lisa. <laughs> I never know if she's smiling or not. Let's give her some company. What about a statue of Venus de Milo? Venus de Milo? I don't know who Venus de Milo is. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Venus de Milo? Excuse me, who's Venus? Venus de Milo? Oh, it's a sculpture. I see. Oh! 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 Right. Uh, this is Venus the, 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 what the hell is your name? Venus the Milo. They say she started by biting her nails. Anyway, oh. we will need a few more masterpieces to complete our gallery. Right. We'll come back to the art later. Now let's focus on the coffee shop and its customers. I have $600. Do this cute girl over there. This cute girl over there? Do I see this cute girl over there? Uh... Pretty good at uh, at pointing them out, but I don't know uh, who you talking about. Who's the cute girl? Oh, hello, cute girl. It's a kid. All right, was well, not. Uh, it's not where where I was heading. Kids are like a flock of pigeons. They are carefree, love to squawk, and always flock together. In a world of deadlines and stress, they're a breath of fresh air. Just don't expect them to take anything too seriously. Are they going to have enough money for this? This is a five-star hotel. You're telling me kids are running about? In this hotel, there are a lot of kids. But as responsible entrepreneurs, we don't serve them caffeine. Fortunately, we can prepare recipes especially for kids. Something tasty and safe for them. Let's do it. Right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's do that. So. Zoop on over there. Create your own coffee loved by kids oh crap here we go <sighs> okay give them a tall glass because they don't know you know oh there's matcha we know they're gonna want hot chocolate whipped cream heavy cream frozen garnish 
The kids want garnish? I don't think the kids know what garnish is. What do you want? Cold hot chocolate? That doesn't sound good. They're like chocolate milk. I guess I could have like cold water, ice cube, mixed chocolate. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> cold milk, chocolate syrup with ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Heavy cream, lemonade, tonic. What is going on? Tabasco? Fish sauce and Tabasco. Heavy cream. I don't know what the heck. Hot milk? They want hot milk in here? Okay. Wait a sec. Was I looking at something? No, th okay. That, that, they don't want hot milk. That's the other one. Frozen. They want heavy cream, whipped cream, and frozen. I don't know if I agree with any of this. Um, This is so weird. I guess more ice cubes? More ice cubes? More ice cubes? Okay. Number of toppings, few. Whipped cream, yes. Topping category, garnish. Whipped cream. Of course they do, and they want garnish. I never had a freaking child ever come to me and say, yeah, uh, sir, you didn't put the garnish? A sliced lemon? What? Okay, you're not getting any garnish. You want syrup? I'll give you syrup. Chocolate syrup. What a weird drink. Frozen. Okay. So everything's good except for garnish. Okay. This is a child ordering a drink. We call it a milkshake. How do you know varnish? Great. Kids will be very happy with your menu now. By the way, did you notice that one of your chairs is broken? Better check it out. I have a broken chair? Oh. This is going to be the introduction to the handyman. This chair is in very poor condition. We should fix it before it becomes dangerous for your customers. For now, you were repairing your stuff manually. But from now on, you can delegate this task to a professional. Let's hire a handyman. Wanna hire a handyman? Lady, I don't got like money to hire handymans. You're very poor at your job. But you're very clever. <laughs> I guess I don't need a handyman all the time. Just four hours, maybe a day. Right? Prefers the afternoon, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Fix whatever needs to be fixed. The handyman will take care of your chairs, tables, and other stuff that could break. You'll I agree. Have some more time to do other things like completing the mission. Good luck and see you soon. Okay, see you soon too, I guess, Kim. What do I need? First, we need to order a bunch of stuff. I like to hit with a three minimum to start off with. That's the creamy clown. Cloud! Not clown. Mission. What's our mission? All the paintings and sculptures and ridiculous $500, $800 here and there. Right. So we need a lot of money. Oh. Our multiplier is actually really high. So that helps us out. Oh, okay, good. Oh, and well, in this case... All we really need to do is kind of just worry about coffee and all that. Espresso Tycoon. Yeah. So, we have kids on the menu. That sounded wrong, saying that. Let me re, uh, uh... Let me, uh... Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. Thank you. We do not have kids on the menu. We have, uh... 
<clears throat> we have, uh, let's stop talking. Uh, businessmen. Let's do businessmen. You want a base? You want a rose? You want caffeine? You want high calories? You want dark chocolate? You want caffeine, I guess. Espresso. Base. Okay. I have medium caffeine. You want a large. You want dark chocolate. Can I give you some hot water with that? And then hit you... Actually, you know what? Take the hot water away. Espresso. Hit you with the um, chocolate syrup, right? No, no. You said dark chocolate syrup. Take out the chocolate syrup. Dark chocolate syrup. There we go. You want a large size of this, heavy on the medium on the caffeine. What are you at? Two, wait. Medium, okay, so that's good on caffeine, I guess. Zzz. 249 I can go up to. There you go. Maybe some hot milk on that. Make it a large. <clears throat> that is not a large. There we go. That's a large. And then just a little bit of like uh, steam the milk. On top of that, yeah? With a little bit of latte art and a rose. What are we missing? Large. We're missing a large and high calories apparently. Let me go back. High calories. Steam milk, bring it down. Dark chocolate, bring it up. That's a trendsetter right there. Yep. Yep. You know you want to name the drink the creamy clown? This will be the creamy clown. With a K. With a K at the cream as well. This will be the creamy clown. How you like that? Thank you, businessmen. Have fun with that. That is the creamy clown. What the hell is a cortado? Hey, okay, order. Order. Perfect. All right, so we got the businessmen taken care of. Ah, let's see here. Hipsters. What do you want? Light, ah, yeah, yeah. light mayonnaise again. You want light mayonnaise, you son of a gun. You want hot stuff in it? So I'm going to get you with a little bit of... Hot espresso. I'm going to hit you with a little bit of light mayonnaise if I have that available to me. I do not have that available to me, so you will not be getting any light mayonnaise. You will be getting an extra large. You will have hot milk. Um, extra large. You want sprinkles with this? Are you sure? You want sprinkles with this? I don't think I can do that either. Chocolate sprinkles. I don't have that research either. So you don't get that. You want hot still? How much hotter can I make it? Oh, wait. Maybe I made it too hot. 96? You want it less hot. All right. How about I bring it down and I put like a little bit of cold water in there for you? <laughs> How about I put a little bit of more cold water there for you? Huh? How you like that? How about a little bit of more cold water for you? There we go. Got it. Hipsters are almost there. I just can't put in anything else. In. This is a terrible drink as well. Hipsters think they like it period <laughs> that deserves a period all right add to the menu okay cool so we got that taken care of next would be the seniors they want a hot one hit you with the hot medium few extra large 
ingredients very low in calories so hot and hot water maybe they want the temperature to be not so hot okay wait whoa 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 do they or do they not not very very hot okay uh how about no espresso hit me with the cold brew instead there we go temperature medium few layers extra large size i just need to crank this sh up i guess maybe it's a little too hot for their liking a little too much caffeine for their liking 249 oh that's hot water there we go a little bit of extras and they're good to go that's it simple easy what's extras what do we need for extras heavy cream yeah we could do heavy cream come on there we go heavy cream seniors love it it's a trend there you go um what do what would a what would a senior uh, order um is that really Mona Lisa? There you go. All right, so they're done. Next is the casuals. They want a lot of unique layers, I guess. Small size, special ingredients. They want hot milk. First things first, I'll give you off on the hot milk here. You want very high in the caffeine. I'll hit you with an espresso. Uh, I'll increase the caffeine to 222. You want even more. Damn. Double shot of espresso then? <laughs> now we're in the 300, sir. Very high. You want 350. Okay, we got that. You want a small size. Crank that. Down. And now you want a special ingredient with a wheat topping. Steamed milk. Not a lot, just a little. And then special ingredients. What the heck is a special ingredient? You want butter. That is what you want. With a little bit of latte art. Oh crap, we have to put the steamed milk first. Butter. Latte art. Steamed milk. Okay. Down. Size 200 milliliters. There we go. Okay. Many unique layers. Is it greater to or equal to five, right? One, two, three. Oh, unique. So maybe not so much on the espresso, but maybe a cold brew? Perfect. And then we hit him with the wheat. Crap, I have to put the cold brew in, then the steam. Okay, cold brew, then the steam. And then just kind of fill it down a bit. Perfect. And then, wait, very high, caffeinated, down on steam. Very high. There we go. Okay, now the wheat. This was a tough one. For kids, hot chocolate made with cereal milk. Wait, what? Odd. TLC, TLC. Hey, Adriana, how you doing, Adriana? That's different. Yeah, we put butter in that. An oldie but a goodie is a good senior drink name. This is um this is casuals. What is this? A casuals will be What's a casual at a at a five star hotel? At a five star hotel. Casual. What are you doing here? Save. 
add to the menu. Oh, there's no empty slots? That's all right. Take the espresso off, add that. There we go. All right, let's order some stuff. All right, so what we'll do is we'll let time go by. We'll let time go by. We'll wait for our orders to come in. What is this? Bathroom. Oh, there's a bathroom right there. Sell three coffees and get ten style points. Oh, that's easy. We're going to get a golden bean like no other. I don't know where the drones come in, dude. Where the heck did the drones come in? Wait a sec, did I get all my baristas taken care of? No, I did not. I need to take care of the baristas. Rick. I bet that pets are in here too. <laughs> Wait, if there's pets in here, does that mean we get our other pets? No. Very well. Oh, there's the drone. Okay, drone drops it off right there. Perfect. There we go. We'll bring all that stuff in. Good. I got some wonderful news. I got a texted. I got a texted picture of my great niece with, with an "I'm going to be a big sister" shirt. I'm gonna be a great aunt again. Hey. That's right. That's awesome. Big ups to you. That is awesome. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, let's look into hiring more of these people. Mornings, we'll take it. Um, four, eight, twelve. Okay, eight. <clears throat> we'll do this. Evenings. And we'll make it work. Hey, okay, schedule. Ah! Ah! Not the clean. Not ah, yeah, the handyman. Ay, ay, ay! Not the handyman. Ay, ay. A barista. A barista. Okay. Try again. Okay, um, let's go. Frank, evenings, get hired. Janice, mornings, get hired. Okay, here we go. Frank, he can go, whoops, he can go 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. Janice, sorry. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Janice can go 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then maybe Pedro can go 10 a.m. to whatever a.m. or p.m. We'll do something like that rather. Oh frick! No one's gonna be here during a certain hour. We'll we'll, we'll mm. okay. 4 p.m. 12 a.m. Okay, good, good, good. And we might actually hire more people. Not thinking about it. I feel like more people are is always good. Yeah, I feel like having more is good. Let's get Karen in. Let's get Caroline in. Yeah, we'll get Caroline in. I'm going to go for something different this time. I'm going to see what happens if having more is good. If that makes any sense. Is more better? We'll see. Okay. Continue. I think we're ready to open. Pets allowed? Hell yeah, brother. Coffee shop open? Hell yeah. No fireworks indoors, please. Thank you. All right, so we are now officially open. Woo! Multiplier, six times. We're very, very close to an eight times already, which means we're gonna be charging these people up the yin yang. There is no barista, yes, that's fine. Because we gotta switch that guy's schedule. Okay, so now that the guy is done, let's switch his schedule. He, what does he work? He works mornings? Okay. Let's go. 
6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then let's hire one more person. This is a risk. This is a big, big, big risk that I'm doing here. But I want to see if it's going to work. 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's not considered night. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'll switch Caroline and I'll switch Frank when I can. I can't switch her right now, but I will eventually when that's done. Okay, so we're going to have three people working this bad boy. And our barista needs to be upgraded. Our machine needs to be upgraded. So we're going to have multiple people running it. Okay, let's go. Here we go. There's going to be three people working it here. Do we have anything? We have a croissant. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Customers can't buy what are you doing here. They should. They should. Unless the ingredients are on its way. The ingredients might be on its way, so, yeah. That's fine. Do I need more tables? I do. Yeah, I do need more tables. There's our golden bean, so that $300 is going to be nice to have. We've unlocked researching, I think, right? Additional slot and menu, more daily discounts, research, training employees, and marketing. Confirm that. Now the question is, which direction do I go with this? Obviously, paintings is probably going to be the most important thing right now. So we'll do that uh, item a day. Maybe $12 a day, or maybe we kind of cook it pretty fast. We'll go four items a day. Because we are going to be actually making quite a bit of money once we get this multi multiplier up to eight. So we're going to be spending our money now on, like, you know, the tables and chairs now. Now that we got this extra 300. Uh, the question is style points, too. Not a lot of style points, except for this one, I guess. A square table. We'll put this standard glass over here, maybe. That's a hundred dollars. Uh, we'll put this square table maybe at an angle right there. Grab some chairs. Have uh, the, 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 the romantic chairs are pretty cool, but they're very, very pricey. What is this? Plastic modern chair. How much is that? $60? Okay, we'll run with that, and then I'll, I guess, add more chairs to that table later. That at least that's something, right? So now for the third gold bean, we need to get our rating up to 20, which is easy. Sell 10 coffees, which is easy. Style points to 25, done. Don't need to worry about it. Barista skill with a good. Easy. All right, continue. So the theory, I guess, here that I'm trying to do is the faster that I... The faster that I get this... Um, Get these coffees put out i think the better right i think so too have a good one nebraska don do take care thanks for hanging out with us i adore the way can says croissant oh crap is there am i saying oh god am i saying croissant wrong a croissant I give you a croissant. I give you a croissant. A typical Aiden. Aiden, how you doing? A Fleming. I didn't think I said properly hi to you. Uh, you get a croissant and you get a croissant. I am the Oprah of croissants. And this guy is confused. That's me right there. Maybe we need to fix the layout of <laughs> the tables and the chairs here. Hey, wow, look at that. $279. That's nice. We're kind of still away from the 80, which is fine. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go uh, barista. We're going to pick the barista that's here. Train him to good so we can get that taken care of so that we can get that golden bean done. So we'll have three golden beans. I just got a new item, the screen. Perfect. Perfect. The scream. I don't know if... I guess that's part of the... Uh, that's the art pieces that we need. 
I don't know if we really need to go into a lot of this stuff heavy. I feel like the coffee shop is going to make its money on its own in a way. Like, I feel like... I feel like the multiplier is going to really enhance these, like, simple, not really transcending... I mean, some of them are transcending, but some of them aren't, you know? Can I move that plant out of the way? Hey, plus 20 rating. A local charity event took place at your cafe, bringing in a diverse crowd and an opportunity to give back to the community. Well, hell me. I like that better. Uh, by the way, can we switch our schedule now? Okay, so let's see here. These two are going to switch. So you're going to be there, and then you're just going to kind of keep into like 1 p.m. ish, maybe actually 11 a.m. ish, 10 a.m. ish, 6, 10 a.m. ish to 6 p.m. ish. Not to be confused with the PMS, and we don't, that's not what I'm trying to say. It sounds like I, I'm saying that, but I'm not trying to say that. So don't catch me off there. Um,. As far as cleaners go, do we have a cleaner? We don't have no cleaner. Okay, we could we could hire a cleaner. We don't need a security, I don't think. I don't think we need to worry about security in a five-star hotel. Hopefully not at a freaking Starbucks. But I could hire a cleaner. I could. But, I mean, it's like one area. I'm taking care of it myself. So now we just need, like, $500? And to buy all these, like, paintings and whatnot? Just to get this ridiculous... This is a crazy, uh... A crazy, uh, a girl with a pearl earring. These are real things, I believe, right? Yeah. The Scream is real. Mona Lisa's near real. Starry Night's real. I'm sure, uh, well, the American Gothic's real. Yeah, these are all real. Yeah. Hey, David, how you doing, David? What's going on? Have a good one, Mix Squeeze. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us, too, as well. By the way, thanks for subscribing, Steffi. Appreciate it, Steffi. That guy must have had a lot of caffeine. That guy was doing the cha-cha there for a sec. Look at that. The, can I have the creamy clown to go and a croissant? <laughs> can I have a creamy clown to go and a croissant? <laughs> All right, there's our money bopping up again. That's good. All right, let's add some more chairs. Get that style points up a bit. I want to kind of like dip into the romantic chairs here. They give a lot of style points. They're a lot of money, but I think they're worth it. Very close to eight times multiplier. We've never had eight times multiplier. I think once we get eight times multiplier, I think that's going to change the game. By the way, there's your third freaking bean. There's no T sound in croissant? I disagree. I disagree! Why is the T there? Huh? Why is it there? Have you heard uh, Carl Weezer say croissant for 12 hours straight? Look up the video. <laughs> A croissant? I guess he doesn't say T in that either. <laughs> There we go. There's definitely a T in it in my language. I promise you. Is that 80? That's 80. We got the 8 multiplier now. Oh, here we go. Send the money my way. Oh, crap. There's a chair that can't fit in the table. Perfect. Go. Alright. This is good. I think this, this is where the money is going to come in. That's how you say it. it. Has a T at the end. That's how you say it. That's how I say it, too. Can you give me a croissant? Can you give me a croissant? What do you say? Can you give me a croissant? There is a T, but you don't pronounce it. Then they should just take the T out. Take the T out. You say, well, you don't say the K and no. Yeah, but there's two no's. There's no and there's no. You know? <laughs> there's not two croissants. Take the T out. Get it out of there. If you don't want me to say it, get it out. Get it out. Send it out. You leave it in there? 
It's coming out of my tongue. It's French. If a word ends in E, you pronounce the last consonant. If it's a consonant, then you drop it. Croissant has no E though, right? Just a T. Try to say that to a French guy. He might say, Oi! No wait, that's the that's the that's the other people. <laughs> what was that? Was it Oi! Wait, wait, no, no. What was the uh Research five new items? I think I could do that. What was the um I think it was uh I forgot what it was. I think it was uh change we were getting a bunch of oys was it oys or something i forgot what it was anyways we need paintings and we need i think specials or is it going to be i don't know what the sculptures are under hang on a sec let me see real quick are they under special they are under special okay so we're gonna i, I will accept this i think five items in 24 hours Yeah, I'll do this. We'll spend a lot of money on research. And we'll definitely make sure we do this. We're going to get money in return for it, so... Accept. And then let's order the rest of this stuff. Five. Five. Okay. There we go. Continue. Give me a croissant with a T, please. Croissant and a cup of tea, yes, please. Us Brits say oi. There we go. Okay, that's what it was. It was the Brits that said oi. Oi! My son says I pronounce sword wrong. So why is the S W there if you don't if you don't pronounce it? How do you say sword wrong? You say sword, right? Sword. 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 Swad. Damn it. Now we're getting all different kinds of things. How would you say Connecticut? I would say Connecticut. That's how I would say Connecticut. That's how I would say Connecticut. No? How would you say Connecticut? Would you say Connecticut? Huh? <laughs> Don't even get started with Louisville, dude. You call it Louisville. Get on. The people don't even say Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. There's a C in the middle. Connecticut. Yeah, but there's a C. It. Oh God. There's a. I'm not talking about. A, I'm not talking about in the middle of a word. I'm talking at the end of the word. Connecticut, right? You just pronounce it as the town that shan't be named. <laughs> I'm going to put up a freaking uh, painting here. I'm going to tell you that. Kansas? Kansas or Arkansas? I know it's Arkansas. Look. Look, 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 we can do this all day, all right? We can do this all day. It's like the same people that say Orgeons or Orgeons or it's Oregon. People say Oregon wrong. People say, look, there's no correct way to say any word ever. And I've argued this the whole time. This is what my channel has turned into. I'm doing the Starry Night because I like that picture, painting a lot. I've always liked this painting. I want to put it like a whole row here. Let me in. Kind of weird to place stuff in this little Hotel Hotel Holiday Inn. There we go. We got one down now. Continue. Where's our... Hang on a sec. Where's our gold bean at? Rating 30 to 60. Okay. 
build. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We just gotta get a rating up. Arkansas. That's how you say it. Arkansas. Duh. Arkansas, dude. Library? Library? Or li- There's like three ways to say library. There's three ways to say library. Trust me. Look it up. Look it up. There's a YouTube video explaining it and everything. I've, I've, I've seen it. I've even put it in the Discord at one point. Look it up. Someone from Oregon is Organo. Nobody ever calls themselves Organo if they are from Oregon. They hate that. People from other places call them Organos. Woo! Look at that money come in. Do more of that. We can do another painting if we really wanted to. Or. We can throw in a little bit of employees and a little bit of more rating. I guess, wait a sec, we have 95 skill, well, 95 style. What do we need for the next one? 140? Oh my lord. Um. Uh, milk. Milk. Let's do milk. Milk. Uh, four, rain, milk. There you go. <laughs> and then let's buy another piece, I guess. So Mona Lisa Starry Night, the scream we'll put down now. Perfect. And we'll continue. Four out of 11 now. Not oregano. No, not oregano. Let's not confuse oregano. No, 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 no. Not oregano. <laughs> Arkansas. Take me to Arkansas. Like, I would call Louisville Louisville. And I know a lot of people from Louisville would call it Louisville. You know? But I would call it Louisville. Thank you. A thinker. Customers can't buy how you do, you know, garnish. You know what's actually weird about this? Is that we actually tailored to a, um, we tailored to kids, but I don't think I've really seen kids unless they're not like short. Unless their models aren't short. I haven't really noticed the kids at all. Unless that's a kid right there. That is definitely a kid. It's hard to tell that they're a, a kid. I guess they're just short is all they are. But they look like a... <laughs> Her face looks like a grown woman. Oh, God. What do you have to do to... Spe what do you have to get to specialize in milk? I don't even know how, like, what it, What would be, like... Even in, like, a... In a... In, a, in like, a coffee setting, right? Like, is it really, like... Is there different kinds of things where... Like, you, you have to... Be good at a milk, you know, or be good at a... Well, art, I could see. Speed, I can see. Coffee, I can see. But is there, like, a such thing as having to be good at a milk, you know? Get that to good now. I guess so, maybe. Gotta get our rating up now, really high. I forgot that we have cats, too. What is this? Get Sell five snacks in 23 hours? Yes, we'll do that. Get a five rating on that? We can do it. No problem. Fast forward. Students have nothing to order. They should have something to order. Well, wait, actually, they shouldn't have something to order. Now thinking about it. All right, get that in. I don't think we took care of the students because we ran out of menu, uh, menu space. During stock stacking, you found a stock... Wait, during stock taking, you found a golden coin worth $100? Oh. Okay. Sure. 
Nice. Because of the half naked statue there. <laughs> that was easy. Claim that reward. Add it. No problem. Oh my lord. Everything just came in all at once. It's not too hard to do, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we can add another painting if we really wanted to. Our style points went up even more. How did the style points keep going up? Buy more decorations and collect more style points to increase your money multiplier. The higher it is, the more money you will earn with each coffee sold. Does that have anything to do with like our people being upgraded too is giving us style points maybe? I don't know. The kids with the, the kids aren't here because of the naked statue. <clears throat> this is like a night at the museum, it almost feels like. We're one Ben Stiller and Robin Williams away from that. Oh, there's the money coming in. Order that. Yep, 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 yep. Order five, please. A couple of hours. I will come in. Okay. I mean, we're very close now. I guess, no, I guess putting down the, the, the screen maybe gave us that style points, huh? Okay, so we got the good level milk. Good, he's good at milking. Fantastic. Now we just need a high uh, rating is all. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and just throw down another piece of painting. The girl with the pearl earrings. Or pearl earring. 125 style points now. So even closer to a 10 times. I do want to kind of see what that's all about. Let me look at that real quick. It's a lady with a pearl earring. <gasps> she has a headband, dude. Oh, I like her. I do. I like her. I like her. Okay. Continue. Continue. <laughs> Is that really the Mona Lisa? Every person that comes up and they just ask that question, but it's like, that's the coffee that they're buying. Have 10 cabinets. Uh, no. I decline. Uh, no. No, thank you. Okay, there's about to become like a little bit of a, a domino effect here, I think. So, we're very close from uh, leveling up our multiplier to 10 here. And we're, we're getting in money super, super fast. Like right now. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to... I'm an idiot. I hit instant delivery. Never mind. I'm not going to do it right now. But when I get to $500, I will do it. I really hate that I just instant deliveried. But we're going to be placing down more paintings. And then we're going to get our multiplier even up. And higher and higher. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the research real quick. Um, Let's do... We did everything. Right? So I don't think we need to do anything anymore. For that. Maybe do this, if anything. We'll do, like, I don't know. We'll do, like, three items a day. We'll do extras, that, and toppings. I don't know if we'll need to have more coffee stuff for the rest of the play here, but I think we're kind of set just as, like, where we're at. I think the multiplier just really kicks it into high gear here for us. Order simple cups. Five. There we go. Perfect. These paintings were in Animal Crossing. Some were fake. Yo, that's funny. Some were haunted? What? Really? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Haunted? Like, what would they do? Would they, like, move or something? Go. Would they like follow you like with eyes or something too as well? Okay, let's, what is this? Sell eight coffees with, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Accept that, grab this, go here, give me the kiss, cause every kiss begins with K. Hands, okay. <laughs> that is a weird painting. 
That puts us up at 140. We are now at a multiplier of 10. The next one is at 200 for 12. This is going to change everything, I think. All right, here we go. 10 multiplier. Get at it. I guess the one thing that we really desperately need to do is just get our rating up. Um, so let me look at the menu here. So we have more spots. Okay, great. So let's do... What are you... Okay, well, I got to remember this. So what are you... What are you doing here? That's the children's. How do you know garnish? That's the children's. What are you doing here is the casuals. The creamy clown is the business. Hipster is the hipster. That is the senior. Okay, so what am I missing then? I'm missing the tourists, right? And the students, I think. Tourists and students. Students. They want a very cold brew. Very cold. Hey, Layla. Just curious. Are you thinking of revisiting Wildflowers for the most recent update? I've just finished watching your full playlist and would love to see your take on the new content. There has been talks about it. Yeah, I've been talking about doing another uh, playthrough of it with the new stuff and all that. I had done a little bit of a, a live stream when they came out with, um, with the clothes and all that. But I have been thinking about doing a new run. But I just don't know when I would do a new run is all. I haven't figured that out. If I were to do another one. Uh, latte art milk. We got to get milk in. Maybe cold milk, I guess, too. Students, cold milk, 0 to 9 Celsius. They want extra large. Fill that son of a gun up, I guess. And latte art. So maybe... Back it down a little bit and then add a little bit of foam on it. A little bit of foam on it. There we go. Extra large? Good. What is it? Just any latte art. This is for the students. Um, We'll do a custom one. We haven't done a custom one in some time. Uh, This will be straight up. Smiley face. All right. Kind of smiley face. A little bit of hair action. This is Back to the Future. Perfect. Name the coffee. Students in a five star hotel question mark add it okay so now one more and that would be tourists they want frozen to small they want extras they want low caffeine so maybe like a low brew that low enough? That's not low enough. Or that's too low, I think. Is that good? Medium in calories? They want extras, extras, extras. Lemonade? No. Heavy cream? Yes. Small size? Maybe a little less on the heavy cream, maybe? And then a little bit of lemon syrup. Lemon syrup? Lemon syrup? Okay. Trend setter. I don't know what I just... Lemon, 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 life gives you lemon, life gives you lemons, apparently, there we go, add that too, alright, so now everybody has a piece, everybody has a piece on the menu now, good.
Oh, thank you, Layla. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. New ingredient, honey. All right. All right, now we just got to go for it. You have to pay for all games on Steam Deck, or is there a monthly stitch uh, situation like uh, Game Pass? No, you have to you, you have to pay. Yeah, you have to, you pay basically uh, for all the games on Steam. There isn't like a monthly subscription like Game Pass. So these games can play for free. Well, um, most of the time. For me, yeah, but you had to buy them. Um, well, most of the time, I guess that's that's like I, I I get the games mostly for free sometimes because of the developers. But if you want to play the game yourself, yes, you have to uh, you have to uh, buy the game. Hey, Kaden, how you doing? Hey, Artuitus, how you doing? What's going on? Yeah, the Steam Deck is exactly that. Uh, basically just a handheld device so you can play your Steam games. Um, and mobile. Handheld. Yeah, this 10 times multiplier is killing it. You're working, Artuitus? When are you going to stop working? Just stop. Let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and add this. And do... I don't even know how to say that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but it's going right there. Who is it? I can't tell. What, who is this? Oh, okay. Right. Got it. Okay. Continue. 155 now on the style points. Our ratings should be going up too. Now that we have um, coffee for everybody. Coffee for everybody. Everything should be going up. And maybe I could even hire at this point. Actually, you know what? Um, let's pull down research. Let's pull that down. Turn that off for the, for the time being. Let's go into employees. Let's hire ourselves a cleaner. To work 12 hours a day. Nights, nights, mornings. Ashley and Agnes. Olivia, Agnes. And we'll get their situation started. So you want afternoons. So a, wait a sec. That's a handyman, sorry. Cleaner. You want mornings, so we'll put you 12 a.m. to there, and then 12 p.m. to there. Perfect. Now we don't really have to worry about cleaning as much anymore. That should help with our rating as well. So we have 7 out of 11 now. Very, very close to being done. Hey, Kasim, how you doing, Kasim? What's happening? You work from home, so not too bad? Okay, well, that's good then. Okay. Let's add... I think this is the last decoration... Or last painting. It is. The American Gothic. Perfect. You know about the American Gothic. Cool. So now the only thing we need to do... Is... Uh, do the sculptures. Venus Award. Nice. $800 a piece. $1,000 for, for the David statue. The Thinker 750. Disco Boot. I don't even not going to try. The guy looks like he's bowling. So there's that for you. We already have the Venus de Milo. So now the next thing is the Thinker at 750. We'll get that in at 750. Water filters being ordered. Ratings going down. Honestly, I'm not even that like afraid. Okay, that is pretty bad. <laughs> okay, maybe I am afraid. Prices are too high for the five star for the students. Of course they are. Uh, let me go in and fix that real quick. 
uh, uh, students in a five-star hotel. It says it in its name. That's why, like, why are you complaining about prices? Why are you even here? That's what I want to know. All right. Rating is definitely down. Don't worry. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it for sure. Cat sleeping on your back? Well, I hope you're lying down. <laughs> How do you know garnish? So this is a child? You're telling me that's a child? No, oh, dude. This is a child? How old are you? Oh. Never mind, that's not a child. All right, never mind. I, I didn't think so. Decline. I didn't think so. Let's take a look. Maybe our employees need to be, how are our employees? Are they okay? Let's see. Baristas, are they all right? I wish I had more training here. I wish I had more training here. Uh, I'd like to earn more money. I wish I had more training. I'd like to earn more money. I'm looking forward to the next training. Okay. We'll give these people a little bit of uh, TLC. There you go. Have a little bit of that going for you, yeah? I don't know how to actually adjust their salary. Oh, I guess this is their salary. We'll adjust their salary too. Maybe, you know what? Let's give them a high, higher salary. Because the employees also affect the rating too. Of the shop. If we pay them well. See what happens. Tinker with that a bit. Okay. Continue. I'm going to assume the one who is bowling is actually throwing a dish. He's actually throwing a discus. What is a discus? Is a discus like disc golf? <laughs> what is a discus? Is this something you throw? I mean, obviously, it's something you throw. A discus is a frisbee? Oh, okay. That makes sense. So it's like, I guess, disc golfing. Create and save your own coffee with the ingredients. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not do that. Okay. Our rating's hurting us a bit, but we should be turning that around now. A bit. We have things that... Um, that attract a lot of people now. And I think what I'm going to do is if I get enough money, I'm going to drop a jukebox down too. Because they do like the jukeboxes. Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to leave it on jazz too. Yeah, we'll leave it on jazz. That should help with the rating as well. Okay, right, cool. Like a he heavy frisbee? Interesting. It's an Olympic sport? Really? I did not know that was an Olympic sport. Have a good one, Fluffy Penguin. Do take care. Have a good rest of your time, a rest of your evening. We'll set that. Thanks for hanging out with us. The shot put is throwing a heavy ball. Yeah, shot put is totally... I don't... People that do shot put, that also kind of uh, impresses me. Like that's that's pretty that's pretty hard to do. That's pretty cool, though. I like watching them. Okay. We can get this. Okay, we got the rating. Claim it. Okay, so there we go. Our rating goes to 13 now. Good, 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 good. Now we just need to leave it here. Need to let it be. Let it be. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Give them more. Give them more. Creamy clouds? Sure. There we go. There's the big tip. There's the big multiplier. Keep it coming. There's the good ratings, too. Starting to increase a bit. I feel like this place is like solely just on I don't know I might need to make another there's a plus a flash mob gathered outside your cafe drawing attention in a crowd of onlookers what the hell flash mob are they flashing us or is that a different kind of flash mob oh we could do a marketing using TV on businessmen Yeah, let's do that. We'll run a marketing on... This will increase our rating as well. On businessmen for five days, right? Or does it matter? I don't think it matters. We do a lot. Tourists. Seniors. Hipsters. For... Five days. Yeah. Oh shoot, that was I don't think that was a um I don't think that was a TV ad, that was it. Okay, we'll do TV ad businessman. Five thousand dollars. Holy sh Oh god. Never mind. We did a Beanstagram, but we didn't do a friggin' TV ad. Five thousand dollars for five days. A thousand dollars a day. Lord have mercy. Hey, Lulu. How you doing, Lulu Pie? What's going on? You've been watching the above sticks? It makes me want it. Nice. All right. We have enough money now for the guy guy. The uh, thinker. I'll put the thinker over here. Think about what you did, young man. We have two sculptures left. That is the discabus, discabulus, discabul. I don't even know how to say that. Discobolis. 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 I'm going to fail this, by the way. Accept the penalty. I have no option. And then the David statue. So we need to earn about $1,900 all the... No, $1,800 altogether. But we got our marketing kind of set in. Now you can see... Just gonna take some time. That brew pub simulator game looks interesting too. Hope you play more. Yeah, hopefully a lot of people are interested in it. Hopefully people go and like that video and all that good stuff. The best way to know if you want to see more of a of a game is by liking the videos and all that good stuff. <clears throat> so hopefully, I haven't checked to see if there was a lot of likes on it or not, but. I guess I will have to wait and see. Oh, I need more espresso. But yeah, it's it looked like a, it looked it felt like a pretty cool game too, as well. We actually might get this pretty fast here. Um, no. Almost at eight hundred. Very close to 800. We're burning through it now. Look at that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Special. Look at that thing. Yeah, there he is. It looks like a disc. And now we just need $1,000. Once we have $1,000, it is all set in stone. And look at that. We have up to... 12 multiplier, right? Yeah, now we're up to 12 multiplier. Epic. We could have more uh, chairs and all that to make everything worthwhile, but... Yep. Thousand, thousand dollars and we complete this mission. Fast and easy. Have I looked into Guild 3 for this for a series? You know, I own Guild 3. And I've always thought about it, but I think there's a lot to it. 
that I, um, I think I've just kind of kept it for myself more than anything. Kind of like, because I've always been really, really interested in that. I think that would be a game I'd probably play on my off time. I don't know if I would stream it, though. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. And I haven't ever played, like, the Guild 2, and I know Guild 2 is, uh, is, is better, but, you know, there's been a lot of updates since with Guild 3. All right, there we go. We did it. Hooray! David statue. Viva La Cans is now a popular art gallery in Mexico City. Yeah. I love it. So, what? The wise heads of Sydney City Council decided to create an oh, Australia underwater structure, a huge inverted aquarium. It was supposed to build awareness about the need to protect the ocean flora and fauna. Unfortunately, after building this engineering marvel, they realized nobody was visiting it. Rumors say nobody thought that their brilliant plan would require advertising. To fix their mistake and save their jobs, they have entrusted you with the task of creating a coffee shop there. Bring back life into this place, raise awareness, and help the ocean survive. Now, this was actually the mission you got to do, I think, in the um, demo of the game. Was the Australian uh, piece here, this underwater. I'm pretty sure We've I remember underground it. met underground once, so meeting you underwater doesn't surprise me that much. What's more, we'll have the pleasure of turning this impressive construction into a real coffee shop. Do you have an idea for the brand yet? I don't, because that is where we're going to stop it in today's stream of Espresso Tycoon. So if you all enjoyed today's stream, please make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see me finish out there, we only have three missions left. It's the Australian one. Uh, we have the... Uh, LA one and we have the Tokyo one. I think those are the three that are left and then all the campaign missions are all done. So if you want to see me finish out the campaign, please make sure to hit the like button, comment down below and all of that. I would appreciate that in good sense. Uh, tomorrow we have a new game coming to the channel. By the way, thank you Candace for the membership today for the seven months. And thank you Candace for the super chat as well. And thank you Donna Trent for the nine months as well. And thank you for all the people that subscribe. But tomorrow... We have a new game coming to the channel, a uh, story, comedy, drama uh, game that we have. Uh, tomorrow's stream will be a little bit, uh, it's an it's an Aussie, uh, an Australian uh, developed game. And it's a, it's a based around like an Australian post-apocalyptic, uh, futuristic kind of comedy drama. It has been in the making for, I think, seven years. And I believe it was developed by one uh, person, by one Ozzy. So that we're going to be checking that out tomorrow. Uh, but it is forewarning. It will be a, uh, it will not be an appropriate stream for the most part. So uh, if that is an issue with you, just make sure not to tune in tomorrow's stream. But we're going to be playing that tomorrow. And I'm going to be taking a look at this comedy choices. Like you get to make choices in the story driven game and all that. But anyways... Uh, with that being said, I will then see you on the following day with some more. I don't know what my schedule is. What's the following day after that? The following day will be, I think it's coming back to reality. Coming back to reality. No. Oh, yeah. We'll be finishing up probably above snakes and then we'll be diving back into uh, Everdream Valley after tomorrow. So that will be that. So hopefully y'all will see me then if i don't speak with you tomorrow then hopefully i will speak to you then in the everdream valley in the um in the above snake stream uh on friday that it's been a pleasure and honor hopefully y'all have a very good day and a very good evening and i will speak to you tomorrow with a brand new not safe for work story comedy drama i'm on the edge have a good one take care